look as as a dynamic human and my interests sort of broadening as I grow, but I can explore more, if not all, and change that adage that says master of master none. of none. Why not master them all? Yeah. And hence I'm going for my masters. <laughs> <laughs> There's still a rapper in there. Still a rapper in there. I couldn't resist. Every time you came by and you had any kind of baggy pants or a cap backwards, I thought you were a rapper. <laughs> you standing here, we are battling. <laughs> crazy. I write what I like and I like what I write. I like to be right, but I don't really write to be liked. The difference. I get hype when I write like journalists, but I'm no journalist. So I don't write for the hype. And not to say the hype is not right, but writing will get you like and having the right doesn't mean you can write. I was forced to face the fact that I've actually never made anything from music. It was always a passion project. Then I started comparing it against my entire life. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, I probably failed because of it. I probably didn't thrive uh, because of it. King King David Studio Podcast. Can I lay on a man today who doesn't use two names <laughs> of his that I really like? And I don't know why. Hey, Brasid. Aubana. <laughs> David, we're starting with that one. <laughs> we're starting with that How one. How are you doing, Sydney? I'm so blessed, man. You know, that name yeah. is so meaningful to my dad. Okay. Yeah, my dad gave me that name. And the reason I bring my dad in is because, incidentally, mm. his name is David. Oh, look at that. So there you go. That's look how it that. connects. There Thank you go. Him, Dave. He must well, be handsome. I, I, Dr. Dave, that's that's my dad, man. All, all Davids Dr. are handsome. I see David, very handsome guy. You can see. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can see from his loins <laughs> has come. <laughs> wow. So, so, so do, do you don't use it much, though? In high school, I was Sydney. Sydney. Yeah. So, you know, because I'm from the generation where our parents believed that you would be better off in life mm. if you perhaps had, uh, you know, a biblical name ah. or an English, English name, name and mine was Sydney. It makes it easy to never get exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they don't they don't give you a name. Yeah, so you end up only Nelson Mandela. Why one and two? Where you got the name? One hundred percent. Classy. Exactly. And yeah. Tapelo. Tapelo. Honestly, I can't say I know confidently who in my family gave me that name. Yes, yes. But of all my names, it's probably one I use the least. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I it's always Tebo Ho. Tapelo is my second name, incidentally. Yes, yes. Sydney, my third. But Tapelo is one I probably use the least. I wonder why Didn't Tapelo wonder. loses out. I this. wonder. Is there anybody who calls you Tapelo? No, never. Unless it's sort of by mistake mm. and it's some kind of call center and they've got the sheet in front of them. <laughs> they just say, and that's the one they connected with. But never, never on purpose, never intentionally. Do you know there's a, there's a phrase that says, I don't know how true this is, it's probably not even much of a phrase, but I believe that if you have multiple names right you have multiple personalities i can i can believe you, something you get like that. you get the, the, the logic I that says it. you represent just about all your names in a particular way is there is there meaning to that why i would believe it is because uh, so the sydney was probably from the earlier part of my life mm -hmm. and i do believe i had a certain personality and a person i was then mm. then uh the debo ho was definitely, uh, you know, more a, a dad now. Okay. More a sort Khrutman. of young Khrutman finding his way. Yes. Then, of course, I added my own along the way. Your pro Because I'm going there as Which well. was somebody else. <laughs> so there is some truth to that. Because I can proverb see is a very different person. You know, now that I think about it, I definitely, and I never have before, mm. I definitely think there's some truth to it. You're somebody else and you embody maybe a name. Because yeah. a, a, a proverb is is the rapper guy. That's the rapper guy. It's the, the TV yeah. guy. Yeah. That's the personality. That's the personality. Exactly. That's the one hundred percent. But Deboho isn't, is it? That's so insightful, uh, but Dave. I had never ever considered and thought of that yes. until this moment. And you're absolutely right. I think Deboho is more Ntuanaku Kimbali, mm. who came to the big city to come and hustle. Hotro Spina, Hotro Kopanza, you know, um, is now a family man taking care of my children. Whereas Proverb is is the personality, the brand, mm. um, you know, the face. Uh, and and maybe the guy that uh, you know that Debohor reports to. Ah, you see what I mean. <laughs> Even proverb reports to. One hundred percent. Who does proverb report to, or is proverb the, so the I CEO? Like, I feel like a proverb is the CEO, and okay. Debohor works for this guy. Ah, you know because I have to try and create an environment where proverb can therefore thrive. Proverb must create the environment for everybody to 
uh, to benefit from. Absolutely. Who? So yes. it must filter down yeah. to everybody else. Who was Sydney? That's so interesting. <laughs> Who was Sydney? Back in Sydney those days. was uh, um, so growing up in Kimberley. Mm. My uh, my parents obviously wanted to afford me all the best opportunities. Yeah. So um, Sydney first surfaced when I went to a coloured school. Okay. Uh, called Endeavour Primary, yeah. and we're now talking about Dave in uh, ninety one. Okay. I excellent Anna back then, right? Uh, and that's my was my first English medium school, mm. um, and that's where Sydney then sort of took and came yeah. to the fore. You realize that they would have struggled, maybe not with Devojo, but with, with these other names. Yeah. You know, how the stumble with the tongue. What, exactly, it, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it was both for my benefit, but also you know, so everybody else. It's it's an easier fit. Yes. You know, and so throughout. Um, those last couple of years of uh, primary school into high school and and maybe in the sort of a closer to the end of my high schooling era yes. did Sydney begin to fizzle slowly slowly because by and then consciously consciously so and I'll tell you why because yeah. by then it was just after uh, 94 95 so we were getting a little bit uh, conscious mm. of ourselves, of our position your, in this your world. Blackness. Our blackness, yeah. you know. So I remember all the Archies were now reverting back to your Tatos. Exactly. All your, your, yeah, your, even, your Wilmers. Even, were even Bob Mabana became... Yes. Yes. You, like, yeah. yes. Everybody so, just exactly. slowly... So I think there was sort of a yes. reawakening... Um, yeah. which took, which manifested in ways like this, where we became a bit more soft aware of who we are. Yeah. And so the Debo Hors then came to the fore and now we were proud <laughs> to, you know what I mean? Exactly. I get it. For some reason, I didn't go through that problem. All right. I call it a problem because you had to, obviously you had to deal with it in yourself. For sure. Hore, you know, I don't want to be David anymore. Right. I want to be Mutubatsi. I want to carry oh, this, yes. embody this, this yeah. name. Yeah. I, I, I've never had it because Around me, a lot of people were calling me that. Oh, yes. You know, okay. So there was it was always present. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah you didn't my, have my, to refer to no, it. No, no, no. My next door neighbors, Kukas, Kuma Melodi, eh, eh. they only call me Mutubat. Oh, I see. So it never became a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, or I need to use this name now. For sure. And my ID, mm. the names are in the African language sequence. Oh, I see. Like it's, okay. it's and a, they are? David. Oh, so uh, it's been sorted. David. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> they, they are the Samu claimer. They are royal. I, oh, I I, no, no, don't even get into it. I don't want to fight with some <laughs> some king <laughs> because I'm claiming royalty. Sure. Right, yes. right. Take show. Get take yeah. show. Get take, take show. show or hey. show. Take show. With a S H at the S -H -O. end. S H O. Give give a Joanna. Give a Joanna. Eh. Well, naki do me la eleba Joanna. But I would believe that there is some Sisoto elements eh, because my dad always speaks of our relatives, Bakole uh, Soto. Okay. Even though, interestingly, Dave, there is also a big Osa ah. faction to my family where my paternal grandmom uh -huh. was uh, Nelim Osa, mm. as well as my... Um, maternal grandfather yeah. who I, I unfortunately didn't meet both but i but i learned no 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 my 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 uh, paternal, paternal i met yeah yes yeah. and i got to interact with uh but from my mother's side mm. i never got to meet my grandfather but i always believed uh and learned that he was Kosa. Mm, As a mm. matter of fact, my mom's name, Nele Nomonde. Ah, oh, then it's sorted. You see what yes, I mean? So yes. even though I identify as a Mutswana and grew up only Sitswana, speaking only Sitswana, Mare. but there's a big Kosa element yeah. to who I am. Do you know, if you were to decode a lot of our lineage, yes. you'll find that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll find a lot of it. For and sure. some not as far as... 10 generations yes. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As yeah. recent as right yours. Because yours is very recent. 100%. Did you get any of the Kosa in you at all? By way of sort of... Language? Language, culture, not at all. Not at all. And even the exposure was very limited. Mm. Uh, it's only when... I, you know, by by happenstance. Mm. So my grandmother used to be a principal at a primary school. Okay. And so there was uh, a night guard 
who used to watch the primary school. And one evening, there was an incident of some kind. Mm. And uh, this guy who was uh, of Zulu speaking, right, came to report to my grandmother. Mm. And for the first time in my life, I got the biggest fright of my life. I heard my grandmother, (laughs) who obviously was now in panic. So you can imagine it was it was coming out rapidly. <laughs> it was a default setting. It was a default setting. <laughs> yes. And she was now conversing with uh, Baba, who we called. Mm. We called him. And I, I couldn't for the life of me recognize this woman. <laughs> the language who, was so who was speaking Tosa. And I had never heard it before up until that moment. What? Uh, how old, give or take, your age? At, uh, no, I, I was a young man. Yeah. Lintuana, so I was uh, maybe... <laughs> Boman eight nine yes. or seven even. And you hearing this language for the first fright, time, and I'd never heard, seen anything like this. <laughs> but it was coming rapidly, and for the life of me, I didn't realize. Even and it sounded even, foreign. I even my dad's side. So my dad has always been a little bit of a linguist. Yes. But I knew him to be worldly. So you know, he studied in Jersey. Mm-hmm. He was in Forte. He had also done stints everywhere, working while trying to pursue his career. Right. Yes. So I considered him to be a bit of a linguist because of his worldly upbringing. Uh-huh. Little did I know, Jorge, oh, wait a minute. The <laughs> Kosa Zulu elements can they were coming from, from his mommy. mom. Right Ooh. here. And this, mind you, this is new to me. Uh. This I only kind of discovered in the last couple of years. <laughs> That's crazy. So there you go. I'm more Kosa than I know. you way Kosa. <laughs> you, you just skipped the language. <laughs> Apparently so. And one thing I like about, about kids yeah. is if you present all the languages yes. to them, they're going to take them all. Mm, true story. Kids will abs- absorb. True. That's why when I yeah. see kids that are only raised like these modern kids of today yeah. speaking one language. Yeah. It's a core. Mm. I always say, yo, you have yeah. no idea yeah. what opportunity you're losing. As there's a, a, a kid I know who speaks Afrikaans, 100%. Mm. Yes. Uh, who speaks Zulu, 100%. Right. Who speaks Sesotho, Sa, sa freestart. Okay. From, from, sa freestart akwana. Exactly. Yeah. From, from grandma, yes. 100%. Sure. Note, this is a... And now, obviously, at school, uh, he's speaking English. He's a kid. He, wow. When he was five, six, he was speaking of all four languages. And he knew which language to use depending on the person on he the was talking environment. to. the environment. Yeah, that's When impressive. he was outside playing with, his, with, with other kids. And for it. And for it. Yeah. When he's in the, in the house talking to grandma, kenghonu. But in the classroom, sure. No, and when, when talking impressive. to yeah. the sister, is Africans because the sister is is, is is colored. He's oh, yes, also yes, colored, yes, so yes, right. he speaks Africans with the with the with the older sister. That's impressive. Can I listen to that? Yeah, it's yeah. it's our fault. Yeah, one hundred percent. Because look at with you, how oh, I'm a theater. Yeah. I'm a teta. Teta got local. I can't teta to save my life, you know. But it's it's maybe it's worthwhile exploring because there's no excuse no. anymore. And you find yeah. that the minute you connect, yeah. it's a very quick because Re- it's yeah, because it's, it's a there. natural innate the belonging. Like, yeah. Just Just unlock it, in a yeah. year, you're yeah. like, hey, you or yeah. shaga vocabulary. Maybe there you go. Maybe that's my 2024 goal. I, there's an say, idea. Unlock that yes. part of, of, of my lineage. You know, for someone who's done music and entertainment and all yes. of that, there's a lot of education in your family. Mm, 100%, like like yeah. at, a, at a serious yeah. level where they all believe. Yes. Take, give, me, give me a sense of, of the, educa- the amount of education yeah. that's found in your family. All right. So let's maybe go two generations back. My, my mom was uh, a principal mm. uh, at a primary school, which for that time and era yeah. was, uh, you know, considered advanced. Yeah. Uh, my, Stephen, no. my, 100%. Yeah. My parents, uh, so my, my mom is a... Uh, was a professor at the University of the Northwest <laughs> and she had uh, two PhDs. <laughs> Listen uh, so that. she was um, a, a doctor mm. um, and my dad uh, is a medical doctor. Mm-hmm. So she, you know, she, mom was, was a, a philosophy doctor. Was a philosophy doctor, yes. 100%. And I, so my, my dad, a medical doctor. So, so ed- education, you're absolutely right, you know, um, formed the basis of, of uh, my upbringing, mm. you know. Uh, but for some reason, I had the creative bug which steered me in a different direction. Yeah. And interestingly... Whenever I revisit this and and later found out why my dad was so supportive Mm. of me exploring an alternate route, was finding out that he actually had 
entertainment interests. Oh, got you. But never explored them because one, he really wanted to become a doctor, but mm. also to to get out of the cycle uh, and and you know the background that he was in. He yes. wanted to sort of break, break out, away. and so medicine. You was can the you way can describe so. the cycle. It's, it's the, sure. poverty cycle. the poverty cycle. The poverty cycle, indeed. To, yeah. get yeah. it, he, yeah. he chose, he up, to get out of it, he chose. He gave up Katara or something. <laughs> Dave, you know it, it. It it's it's eerie how how accurately you are hitting these marks because yeah. he wanted to be a guitarist and guitar was his interests mm. uh, interest uh, and he never quite explored it, but I could understand how it had somehow been passed through. Yeah, because when I pursued music, my my dad was open to the idea because he sort of said, hey. understood. Yeah, I, yeah. Yes. he understood. He, pro he probably also said, "Damn it." That thing is still here. Oh, I won't. It's, <laughs> it's look still at surface. There this you is go. me. Looking yeah. at you is like, this is, I remember yeah. me. And I see my daughter now, yeah. who uh, is in matric, by the way, Jeez, wants to... Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Yes. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so yeah, no, uh, she wants to do psychology, which I'm absolutely supporting. Yeah. But what she's naturally adept at is like the drama, the arts, the singing. She most recently starred in her school play. So again, I, I really see, see that genetic code continuing. And you can't stop you know, it. You can't stop it. I support it either way. Yeah. And I was allowed to do what I like. Here's, here's something interesting. I, yeah. I had a chat here with uh, with Banyaz al-Sufi. Oh, yes. Um, do you know what his interest was? No. I, other than this thing that he's doing yeah. now. You won't believe it. Mm. This guy has a qualification in drama. And performance arts. That is unexpected. He trained to, to be a, to be on stage. That is unexpected. Imagine that. Who knew? And like your dad, yeah. He took yeah. a direction that yeah. worked that was necessary at the time. For sure. And yeah. I, I can only imagine a lot of careers that were left behind. Yeah. Or potential careers that were left behind for. The survival, yeah, the, yeah, the option. better option, yeah. But it's it's like it's like we had established in the beginning when we spoke about linguistics and how one is able to embody so many. Yes. I feel like as dynamic human beings, we can have varying interests, you know, yeah. and depending on how how driven the opportunity, the circumstance, any of those could have worked. And, so and you could have been a successful doctor just as you could have been a great guitarist, just as you could, you have, could been. have been. It was just yeah. the allocation of time. 100%, yeah. Because you say it, and there's a phrase that's found in the English language that says, jack of all trade and master of none. Yeah. I don't agree with it. Yeah, certainly not the second part of it. Mm -hmm. I've never either. I've never either. Has your life in some form reflected part of that, that yes. phrase? Yes. Break it down yes. for me. Because... Um, here you are. I I then chose to explore music and the creative side in my first half of my life, mm -hmm. and now I'm a full on academic. Yes, you know where I, I've, I've, I've just completed my BBA. I'm pursuing my MBA, but yeah. also in the build up to that, I did all sorts of courses and you know mm. tax law and Jeez. property development and oh, investment oh. management and the like. So. You know, one can really just apply themselves in all these things. Yeah, and in the yeah. earlier half of my life, uh, but Dave, if I may personalize it, I I was of that belief that my calling was one and one only. Music. And I therefore... Was it music? It was music. It was music. I wanted to be a musician and nothing else. Jeez. And closed myself off to the idea of exploring anything else. Yeah. And it's only now that I realized that Look, as, as a dynamic human and my interests sort of broadening as I grow, but I can explore more, if not all. Yes. You know, and and change that adage that says... Master of master none. Master of none. Why not master them all? Yeah. And hence I'm going for my masters. <laughs> <laughs> There's still a rapper in there. Still a rapper in there. I couldn't resist. You, why why masters and what, what what's pushing? Actually, let me yeah. say why the education bug of the past few years. For sure. Yeah. I think, uh, but Dave, growing up, man, I'm, I'm growing up, you know, I, I almost feel like I, I fulfilled all my childhood desires, mm. you know, um, this being one of them, music being one of them, satisfied myself, my soul. You and ticked the box. I ticked the box. Yeah. And now to say, 
what else is there? Uh, what's 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 next? You yeah. know, my my mind refuses to be satisfied at 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 this only path and yeah. saying that it's now done. So do you do you kind of um, you know wait till the end now of life or while you're here do you then explore other things you know mm -hmm. what does the future hold uh, if you are the architect of your own life going forward what what do those building blocks look like mm -hmm. how um entertainment is is, is a young man's sport that's true that's, that's, i that's can I, I can agree okay however i'll mm -hmm. let you finish the thought because yeah. it's an important thought yeah you can stay young yes. because of it Absolutely. for a long, long time. Absolutely. It can keep your yeah. spirit very youthful for sure. because of entertainment. Yeah. Do you get the, the thinking there? I also think this though, but Dave, um, we got opportunities and I, and I hope you, you, yeah. you take no offense for me putting us in no, the no, same No, no, no. Absolutely. I'm cool. We got an opportunity because there's a generation that we took it from. Mm -hmm. Just as eventually we'll need to make way for a generation that follows us. Uh, but when we do, mm. what happens to us then? Yes, I, I hear that. So so how do you then begin putting together the building blocks for what the rest of your life in the future looks like? Yeah. So I, I've kind of chosen to prepare myself for a nice gradual evolution. An, just an, like, an exit? Not so much in a, other an spaces? Exit. Not so much an exit, okay. you know, because I feel like I'll always be a part of the game in some way, shape or form. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. I am now. Look, mm. I started as an aspiring rapper, mm. then became a rapper, then became an exec in the entertainment space, yeah. now serving on the board yeah. of, of the South African Music Rights Organization. Where you started as an aspiring... Game. So I, I'm still technically in the game. I think there's just been a necessary evolution. Yeah. So all that the studying is doing mm. is preparing me for the next phase of what this lifespan should look like. A future CEO of the SABC. There Let's you go. Why it. not? Yes, Why absolutely. Not? <laughs> Let's go back to, 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 the, to the mind not wanting to rest. Yes. Not wanting to be satisfied. Yes. It's complacent. Surely, yeah. Surely something must, must be pushing it. Yeah. Hore, mm, we can try that. Let's yeah. try yeah. it. For some people, is survival. Mm. Uh, for some people, it's boredom. Yeah. For some people, it's, um, you know, a distraction. Mm, 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 Whether mm. it's education or just something, a new interest. You yeah, know, now yeah. you play golf. You know, some people do that. Yeah. What is it for you at the heart of it? Yeah. That says, nah, I can't sit and do nothing. But if I actually think, and if I'm being honest with myself, it involves all of those elements. There's a, there's an element of an of a need for survival. There's an element of self preservation. There's an element of uh, wanting more out of life and having bigger dreams, aspirations. There's an element of recognizing the natural evolution that must happen, and I'm helping it along. Mm -hmm. There's an element of desiring to be a lot more. Uh, exportable, but also remaining employable because you've seen that, you know, um, there's there's like a lifespan, mm. you know, and you run the risk of reaching your sell-by date very quickly. If you do nothing. If you, if you sort of do nothing, you sort of remain the same uh, trick to this pony. Mm. But also for myself, what if, what if I lose interest? Yeah. You know, uh, what if at some point it no longer appeals to me to sit and tell you the time and tell you the name of the song. Now you know yeah. and all that. And, it's no and, and, and your tricks are the same. They know how you're going, going to you, back and I know exactly this. how you can do it. You can do the eyes closed. Yeah. You don't prep anymore. You mm -hmm. walk in. So it's, it's a combo of all of those things, mm -hmm. you know. But I can also, you know, discount the self-preservation element, yeah. you know, um, for for many years, you know, I used to be host and co-executive producer of this massive show. That was my lifeline for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I saw the end coming well in advance. How far in advance? I would say maybe, maybe say four seasons before okay. the last one. That's good enough. That, it's, a, it's a good lead time. That Norman... Didn can't go on forever. <laughs> and even if it does, it doesn't mean I can be a part of it forever. Mm. So you start sort of thinking about, and the day it does, mm. do you do you stand on the the Titanic, see the iceberg, and remain on the ship? Yeah. Or do you And you say, saw it in advance? You saw it. I that iceberg, we're gonna hit it. <laughs> yes. Or do you then say, All right, I need to start learning how to swim? 
I need to start learning how to hold my breath. How to pedal. I need to start how to pedal. How to that pedal. <laughs> I need to have a plan. So that by the time the collision happens, there's a strategy. Yeah. There's a survival strategy. So a big chunk of it is motivated by, you know, look, I've got kids who I cannot tell. Mm. You saw for yourself the credits rolled, it's now done. Mm -hmm. Or you saw for yourself my contract was not renewed. So yeah, you saw for yourself they're not jiving to you my songs You can't say that. Anymore. Basically, you so, can't say no, that to your you kids. Can't. You yeah. can't say any of these things. So for sustainability, for longevity, for forward thinking, all of these things need to happen. That's amazing. There is also a, a personal element to it. Mm -hmm. You know, my grandmom and, and mom and my dad, mm. you know, but please allow me to focus on the first two, my grandmom and mom, sacrificed so much to ensure that I have a, a future. Okay. Um, and also, I gave them so many opportunities to write me off. <laughs> really? Yes. Example? I squandered opportunities. I played when, uh, you know, uh, instead of taking full advantage, you know, there was a period where I had an opportunity to go study in The Hague mm. um, when my mom was pursuing her second PhD. Mm. But just before we had to leave for that, uh, the, the school I was at recommended I be removed. Hey, which, which is a nice way of saying expel. Yeah. Because, say, yeah. You, you, because you're playing. Uh, even, when you're playing even, that I, much. I was playing, man. I wanted to be a rapper, tennis Because being expelled means this is a nuisance in the si yeah. system. Yeah. is contaminating the water. Yes. So we don't want them. We don't want him here. We don't want him here. So we can circle back to this if you if you want. No, but I want to. Allow, allow me to finish my point. <laughs> yeah. So by the time I, I buried my mom, mm. I always had a sense that I never gave her an opportunity to fully see me come around yeah. and be the guy she had she had hoped I would be yes. you know so so part of I think the the motivation to develop myself mm. like I am now is also because I I feel like I owe it to them mm. to say I did it to say I did it I I I I did it I became he who you envisioned. I guess the thought, you know, I'm, I'm putting words in your mouth is, even if it took a while. Even if it took a while. <laughs> it's still taking a while. Because <laughs> I'm still living. Still, yeah, but, I'm, I'm still but the journey continues. The journey continues. So, so that was, that, of the multiple elements and the multiple reasons that I'm motivated to, yeah. included in that is, is that personal feeling like, you know, I I owe it to them. Ish. I owe it to them. And and why do you do, why do you highlight uh, grandma as well in that in that regard? So, you know, my 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 mom and I uh, may her wonderful soul rest in peace. Our relationship was very inconsistent. Again, my doing. Nikki mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, and that doesn't excuse it. No, of course, but yeah. <laughs> so, my grandmother remain the consistent ah. bond between us, mm. you know. So she obviously made her own personal sacrifices to see us to where we are, but also kept m my mom and I close. Even even when you were not talking. Even when we were you not were talking. You were probably talking through her. 100%, you know, so... Uring. Yeah, I with you all, yeah, but... Mm. You know those kind of things, man. So, <laughs> why about, yeah, I get so, it. Eh? So she kind of remained the the glue that held us together, yeah. and and I must maybe finish that off by saying, you know, by the time of their passing, there was unity, there was harmony. We were getting along. They had a sense that I was on the path they had hoped for me, yeah. you know. So I'm, I'm glad by the time of her passing, she got a sense that you can now keep going. He'll be all right. He'll be okay, you know. <laughs> and I, I'm truly, I'm truly grateful for that. Yes. But as, as my sort of parting, and I'm doing it largely for myself too. Of course. But as, as also a, a, a parting shot mm. is to say, let me see 
the dream through. How old were you then when mommy passed on? As in, in your in life, even if it's not the the, the number. Yeah, yeah. But how how far were no, you in terms so of the things that you were? I was you well achieved? an adult, man. Yes. I was well an adult. I was already in my late thirties. Okay. I had already b- you know? been a musician, done television. I had done everything else. And then, that I wanted to do. Was there anything of the stuff you, you've done that your mom was was visibly proud of? No, no, no. But Dave, I, I do not want to paint the picture that she was in complete disapproval. No, no, no. One that she said, ah, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. nice. <laughs> I began to see that my mom was proud mm. with how she would introduce me to her friends uh. and to to people around. <laughs> so, but whenever we encountered like a friend or somebody else, she would say, you know, my son, proverb. <laughs> <laughs> she was proud. She was proud. <laughs> you understand? Yes. And so there was also a point, especially closer <laughs> to the end of her, her life, where she was consistently consuming everything I do. So every time I would do an interview, mm-hmm. unbeknownst to me that she's now watched it or exposed to it or even knows about it, yeah. I would just see a comment. Yeah. Or she'll also comment on like a, a show I'm hosting mm. or an event or something. I do think her being a lecturer helped because the students who were my target audience were also keeping her posted. Oh, on- did you see... Oh, were they away? It seems like they oh, were. Oh, yes. No, yeah. my, my mom made it a point to... Go to my son. Yes. Is... So now they were keeping her posted because she was on top of everything. <laughs> she knew she everything. Knew she had all the newspaper clippings, all of this, and the magazines, the appearances. She was well aware. <laughs> she probably followed you on Twitter. She probably did. <laughs> she probably did. And that, for me, was, was how I knew she was on board yeah. with what I was doing. She was finally proud. She was finally proud. Jeez, but man. I still I still wish to make her prouder. No, yeah, yeah. You're not done. Now you, you yeah. want to tick the 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 academic uh, there you go. little box. There you and, go. And in terms of the that story yeah. that got you expelled. Yeah. What was that? Look, uh, but Dave, I I didn't necessarily do um any any sort of thing nefarious or anything. Mm. It was my lack of dedication and application to the opportunity. Okay. So my mom, uh, who then worked for uh, Unibo mm-hmm. University, University of Botswana, yes. as as a part of There's still people who call it that even that, today. Yeah, for yes. sure. As as a part of that, I think benefit. Um, we would we then enjoyed some opportunities and the like, and one of them was uh, I got to attend a ISB. What is ISB? It's now ISA. Okay. ISB was the International School of Poputatswa. Ah, jeez, the people who would correct me immediately, Rao, my Shabelle. you don't know oh, that. Bo. Yeah, yes. uh, that was a popular school. ISA. I, I look, I, I I would have no context. I was a youngster myself, yes, yes, uh, yes. you know, um, but. So I had this really great opportunity um, afforded by both my parents uh, and my mom, certainly. Mm. Um, and you know what? I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I just, uh, I, I couldn't tell you because I, I was not a, an unpleasant youngster mm. or sort of or, or rude or misbehaved. Yeah. But I just hadn't learned to channel mm. myself. So, you know, I, I would, I would, I was doing well at sports. You know, if there were assemblies, I wanted to perform. If there were talent nights, I wanted to sing. So I was very into everything, mm. but just not the thing that mattered at the time. School. School. Oh boy. School. <laughs> so, which is why it was not an expulsion per se, mm. because that would suggest there was some kind of something yeah, yeah, yeah. committed. He burned the class. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, so I didn't commit anything. Uh-huh. I certainly just didn't commit to my schoolwork. And they advised my my mom and my folks to say, you know what? It, it's it, you're sacrificing a lot to get this guy here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's not taking Applying advantage. Himself. No. So we recommend. Jeez. And and they and they did. And the recommendation was applied. The recommendation was applied. It was back in Kimberley. Um, How long were you there for in in Bob? No, just from one and from two, which I believe were the equivalent of 
Yes, standard then at six, six and, and seven. seven. Yes, yeah. it's grade eight and nine or something. Yeah, or seven and eight. And yeah, I get lost because myself. even when I went back to Kimberley, mm. I then had to repeat. Oh, those. Yes, I then did standard seven grade. Because according to them, you didn't do well. No, yeah, no, we asked you to go, and also it speaks to their standards. Yeah. They were that high. Yeah. Because they could have used you in other spaces if you were good yeah. at sports and all yes. of that. They could have said, no, maybe we are channeling his, his energy in the wrong yeah. direction. Let us make him the class clown and be happy with yeah. that. Yeah. So, it, it also tells you, but Dave, the extent at which I was squandering this opportunity. Because I don't think that was a common thing. I think there had to be some kind of offense yeah. to expel somebody. And with you, there was no offense. There was no offense. It, 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 you know what? You're just wasting the opportunity and you're taking space for somebody else. Go. Loop. Loop. Jeez, man. Loop. And, you're probably and, the only, I, I probably the only in kid in that school that got expelled for and that I, reason. Yeah. And, I but can't believe it. Coming back to Kimberly, what yeah. do you, did you feel, feel like a, a downgrade? It did a little bit because I, I then reunited with uh, all my classmates who I had left some years before. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, and... Interesting side story, but Dave is, you know, I then ca I came back with an accent <laughs> and all that because, you, you know, at, at international, I was obviously exposed and interacting. Yes. And and the reason I mentioned that as, as a lighthearted thing was because this was the only potential positive. Nothing else. Or you have a little twang now. That's it. Otherwise, you're back here with us. And, and were there some that were ahead of you a little bit because you left them on the same level and now they moved a step ahead? Actually, no. So what, what's interesting is, so in, uh, in Kimberley, um, that's why I still finished on the right time. Okay. So in Kimberley, uh, at, at this particular school, CBC, Christian Brothers College, yes. I went there to do standard, I left in standard three. Okay. Yeah. Which was grade five. Now, yes. But when my mom sent me to go and do an aptitude test, to go to international. Yes. And by the way, it illustrates that I was very capable. I just didn't apply. It's probably what they saw. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it started at grade seven, mm. which I was accepted for. What? So you were I was now, the right age. A, standard, a standard higher, yes. so to speak. Two in essence. Yes. Wow. So by the time I came back to CBC, even though I was repeating, you were... I was still one standard ahead of the people I was with when I left... <laughs> <laughs> you go. Isn't that, that interesting? That's another. That's another positive. That's. I suppose there's another, <laughs> there's positive. another positive. So look, I was always capable. Yeah. All this illustration. Just in never my mind. applied yourself. My interests were just really, really elsewhere. What was influencing those interests at the time? Man, I wanted to just rap, eh? But Dave, <laughs> really? I, I can't. I don't TV? know. TV. I wanted to. So, uh, boot TV and radio and all that stemmed from. The core drive. <laughs> Which is rap. <laughs> you just wanted to rap. And isn't it interesting how when you speak of it now, Luya, now you're like, Nele <laughs> <laughs> What is wrong with me? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying, Mujay? Wow. You know, I, I couldn't tell you how, how blindly, and I was good at it. Yeah. Oh, oh, Trust me, listen, we know. I could, I could, what, what I mean is, I could, you could play me a song. By tomorrow, I'm reciting it back to you. What? I know it. You, you, the, the talent night. I considered myself a little bit of a singer. I played the piano at school. What? I won awards for piano. <laughs> I played all the random instruments you can think of. I played something called the euphonium. What the euphonium hell? Euphonium is, is a is a brass instrument that almost wraps around you. Okay, all right, I see that. You know, yes. Uh, is it is it this one? It's it's, a, it's almost it a smaller smaller sister yes, to that one. I, I see that it's a yeah. smaller sister, so you sort of have to sit down. Okay. It sits on your lap, and I mean, but I did well at that. <laughs> I did well at that. You have to describe it to some of us, and you did well at it. I did well. I excelled at it. So piano, sports. I was a left hand tennis player. I excelled at all these things because that's where my interests were. Yeah, and I failed at this not because I was incapable. I just didn't apply myself. You were not interested. I was not interested, man. Because ah. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of, of how we think life is, is written in this linear or straight line yeah. fashion. Yeah. And that's what we model. Because our lives yeah. were modeled that way. Mm. The people before us, you know, did their best to model their lives that yeah. way. And now we also expect 
the kids that come after us to model to it the same, the same way. way. And, yeah. and that's exactly the trap you found yourself in. Mm. And the academic environment that you find, found yourself in at, at home kind of forced it. Yeah. Come on. More than a scale. Come on. What's wrong with you? But, but Dave, I, I, <laughs> I, I am appreciating the full circleness of, of it all. Mm. Because I also feel like those early squanders, blunders, mm. all the adjectives that you need, right? have given me the the purpose now so yeah. so now when i register for a course and i sign up mm. and i all that <laughs> man i've i've got this deep um something to prove <laughs> even to yourself man to my because you, you look at how I'm performing now mm, compared to that. this is chalk and cheese it, there's no way it's the same guy yeah there's no way it's the same guy that's amazing do you, you know what I no, mean no 100% and also it's not it's not it's the same brain just a different attitude just oh that's it you summed it up 100% yeah 100% you learned your lesson. I learned my lesson. <laughs> I learned, I'm I still can... learning my lesson. <laughs> That's so interesting. <laughs> Who were the artists? Yes. Who were the rappers mm -hmm. that propelled this at the Ma, early, early stages? Yo, 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 yo. All right. So, mind you, I used to first try and sing. Mm. It wasn't even rap fest. No. Oh, hell. No, okay. no. Rap, that part rap I came know. along the way. My prep didn't give me that. Rap came along the way. So yes. I used to consider myself a little bit of a singer. Uh, so we're now talking bo boys to men, bo shy. And you had the voice. I thought I had the voice. <laughs> I, I like thought that. I had the voice. For someone that, 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 that was an exec for idols, you would probably, would you take yourself to Sun City? Never. <laughs> if, if you're asking me to speak from that lens... Then no, you wouldn't have. But gone I believed to... I did. You know, hey, I believed I it did. It probably gives you a, a, a window into those that believe yeah. that thing. Yes, because you you say actually I blindly. So I really believed that I went up there and sang hmm. confidently Jeez. in the front. You and, know, and you uh, thought you were the man. I thought I was definitely the guy. But then you know there were there were guys who were hybrid. So in other words, they started bringing this new flavor in. Mm. Uh, there was a guy, Doctor Alban. Of course. Um, um, it's my life. It's my life. Yes. That was not singing. No, it was. Uh, but yeah, there were elements of. It's it's similar to trap singing. It's similar to trap singing. It's yeah. not singing, but it's. But singing. it's you see. Yeah. Then there was a snow. Remember snow yeah. informer. Informer. Yeah, I understand. Yes. So I started. <laughs> I started liking those kind of guys. Okay. And that was the beginnings. There's raga in there. Of, there were some raga elements yeah. in there. And that's where I think my interests started ah. gravitating towards the rap. Okay. Then uh, by the time I um, I got back to Kimberly, you know, uh, then Wall Studio Mix were now a thing. Um, now we had a guy who had uh, an MTV at home. Okay. Ooh. Be, okay, we were in boarding school, mind you. Dude. So he, we used to give him a VHS uh, to just hit the record and sleep. <laughs> and, oh, because it was playing videos all night long. Yeah. The, it was a music channel. Uh -huh. And so at boarding school, we would then sit and just go through this thing. <laughs> and that's where the, the full commitment to this thing it happened because formed. of a VHS. Yeah. And ca wow. then cassettes became a thing. Now we're exchanging music, cassettes for LL Cool J, Bo, Fresh Prince and Jazzy Jeff. Summertime. Those kind of guys. Well, you probably knew the words to summertime. Come on, man. But wait a minute. The guy who I now studied, mm. I studied. Uh, this is now around. Uh, so if I matriculated in 98, yeah. we're talking Bo 96, 97. Was hot then. I then discovered a guy called Cannabis through Wycliffe Jean. Okay. And you were hooked. What was so special about, about Cannabis? <sighs> uh, <laughs> at the time, my gosh, I had never heard stuff like this. He was doing to my brain what had not been done before. Uh, before then, the appeal was... The flow, the style, the rhythm, mm. the the attitude, mm. the look, mm. the vibe. Okay. But where where cannabis came, he was about 
the 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 bars, the imagery, what he was able to do linguistically to take me certain places, okay, okay. and what he was doing with my brain. When you were listening to the words, when I was listening to the words, and I remember almost designing my style mm. based on this influence. I wanted to have that effect wow. when I rap. It shouldn't be about what it sounds like because I didn't necessarily have the most special voice or unique as a in that rapper. matter as a yes. rapper. Yeah, because a there rapper, no there's a voice. No, no yes. none of these things, yes. right? But once I discovered this trick, oh, wait a minute. It's not just about making a rhyme. What are you also saying? What's the wordplay? Mm. What's the double meaning? What's the double entendre? Where can you... <laughs> you understand? There's, then, a, there's a song till today I remember the words. Which is that? It's old. It's old yeah. as, yeah. old as, 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 as day. Um, mm. Kind of king... I I kick a letter to my ex towards the end uh, where you say yeah. uh, I I I know you didn't see the letter because I didn't send it. I didn't send it. It's things like that. I still remember you so see, many, many years. But you ago. see what I mean? <laughs> where you 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 sort of take a month. It's like the plot twist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a plot twist. It's right at the end. Yeah, one hundred percent. But once you realize you can start doing those kind of things with language, you know, that's where the fascination for me came. Was yeah. to say, all right. Almost forge it naturally, let it take a, a natural journey, mm. but then give it a twist at the end, or give it a twist in the middle. Um, one of my one of my absolute faves of my own is a, a song called Writers Club, mm -hmm. where I remember I I had one line. Yeah, I write what I like. Then I remember sitting thinking, I wonder how many ways I can dissect just just this this line, just this. It's a so, famous Steve, Steve Biko. Exactly, I write what I like. Exactly. So you're like, okay. I write what I like. I, I like what I write. Mm. I like to be right, but I don't really write to be liked. Oh, <laughs> you see what you've done, right? <laughs> then as soon as you're like, oh, wait a minute. Now you're yeah. like, I wonder if I could expand this into like an entire verse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you're like, I wonder now. Mm. Then you kind of start weaving, weaving, but playing in this confinement. And, and it was those personal challenges I was finding interest in yeah. and I want to believe was was what was setting me apart from yeah because, because you I, didn't I, have other things I know I didn't have the voice the look the mm. everything else yeah you know what I mean and maybe that's why I also think I didn't quite enjoy commercial success yeah. because that had some tick boxes even even your your inspiration didn't have commercial success no he didn't either Exactly. It was just a great rapper. It was just yeah. yeah. And there's a there's a niche market who who like you mm. are drawn. You to may not fill this. up the dome. No ways. Not but there will be no. people will come. No, yeah. <laughs> but people... in the latter part of my music career, yes. I think there were some commercial penetrations, True. man. Yeah, you get I what agree. I mean? I Where agree. you began to get a little bit of a footprint, mm -hmm. but it wasn't enough to sustain a career. Yeah. Jeez, man. I like that. I like what I like. I like what oh, I like. wanna I, I, You I, just weave, if, weave if, in if, here. We, if we didn't have copyright issues on YouTube, we would play. You'd say go for it. Mm, Why not? Mari, right? Atlori, proverb are the label said so. <laughs> if it's up to me, I it'll be free for all. You see what I mean? Indeed. And and and, and the first song that got you recognized, not by all of us, yeah, but by the immediate. Yes. Whether it's friends, family. Oh. What song was that? <sighs> Man, so I remember my mom, by the way, mm. used to uh, come to Joburg every now and again because I was still kind of a student, still kind of starting out, but she would take Is a it bus. The UJ days. No, this was after those days okay. now. God, it wasn't even Rao at the time. It was, it was Bits Tech. Bits Tech, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. This was maybe just after those days because mm. I maybe just started working as a technical mm. producer for DJ Fresh and the like. Yes. And I had my own little flat, one bedroom. But every now and again, my mom would take a bus to Joburg, you know, to come and help me get it grows. Oh, no, just to check you out. Yeah, to check me out okay. and buy groceries wow. and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But I was, I was now on my, uh, was it my second album? I, 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 I hope I get my timelines mm. right. But there was a song I had dedicated to her. Okay. Remind me. Women. I had a song yeah, called yeah, Women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does it go again? To all the women in, in the my world, life and all the, the women, women in the world. world. Yes. yes, okay. I appreciate you. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I remember that. And yes. uh, don't tell me that's the first song everybody else in your immediate liked. 
Because well, for us, at no, that point, maybe, you had done stuff. May, maybe I'm misunderstanding then immediate, but I just... No, tell your story. Let yeah, me hear. Yeah, maybe I'm misunderstanding immediate. But, f- but for me, I remember playing this for my mom mm. and seeing her shed a tear. What? And that that was a, such a significant moment for me. Yeah. That was such a significant moment for me. Um, I even remember in, in Tabancho, my dad... My dad calling to say, "Him and some youngsters came here looking for your CD." <laughs> Give to him, and yeah, and I told them I don't sell CDs. It's a <laughs> it's a surgery here. Yes. But can you send me a box or two, men? So when they come, so that I can. And and for me, man, those were almost metaphoric mm. because they 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 spelled. The turnaround and the and the and the support. Here's an interesting thing. Yeah, you saying maybe you misunderstand it. You understood it perfectly. Mm. You just gave us an unexpected answer. Oh, I see. I yes. see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because 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 the, the answer in some others in yeah. other stories would be, yeah, but well, they knew I could sing, but it wasn't a big deal to them until oh, yeah. I released this song. Oh yes, yes, uh, yes. Before I became popular. Yeah. In your case. We already knew who you were. Sure. I was out here yo yo yoing my life away. They, they didn't care. They didn't care for it. F- for them, it was the distraction. <laughs> yeah, it was a thing taking me away from the thing they wanted me to do. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Yes. But I but I saw the gradual come Shift, around. Eh? Wow. You know. Yeah. So so the yo-yo part of your life really took hold. Yeah. Uh, from early, man. <laughs> from CBC. From CBC. Jeez, man. Yeah. It took hold. It and took a hold. You man. became did you did you embrace the look, the yo-yo look? Because oh, there's sure. a look to No, for sure. I had, there's a I had there's a, a tent cap. I, man, I wore the Doc Martens to school already. My blazer was already three times. In fact, my blazer till today, my high school blazer, is is bigger than my current jackets. <laughs> it is too big. It, because it you was to be about baggy. big and the baggy. And I, I want to mention something which I, I don't know will surface otherwise. Yeah. We used to have something called Teller Night at school. Okay. And everyone knew that was my night. <laughs> it was your night. No, you, you, you can he's come winning. and participate. But it's my, this is my space. This is my house. <laughs> no, this is <laughs> they my should have just let you do it they on your own. One year, I, they wanted to disqualify me because I had 11 entries. And I kept trying to justify, or, no, share, my man, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> this one, I'm singing. Mm. This one, I'm dancing. Mm. This one is a group effort. This one is a duet. This one is a... You understand? Because... Here I'm rapping. Yes, here I'm playing here the piano. Here I'm, here I'm, you know, and yeah, it got ridiculous, you know. <laughs> but I, I just wish to share this. Mm. Because now that this line shaped my life. Yeah. You get what I mean? Like mm. I, I ended up becoming an entertainer. I'm still in radio. I'm still in music. I'm still in the space. And yeah. My biggest desire now is to, I want to like donate some kind of a trophy or an award yeah. or uh, something to my old school for a talent night. Jeez. Because I'm of the belief that some of us are just inclined that way, you know? And and just because we don't do well in school and whatever, it it doesn't mean you are incapable. It just means your capabilities are elsewhere. Because you can't figure out trigonometry, yes, doesn't mean your life will end up nothing. No, no. So I, I really, my biggest desire is to go back to my school, and I've engaged them many times on this, mm. to go and give some kind, some kind of a trophy or a award. Do they or, or still something. do talent nights? Do you know? I, I don't maybe, know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it starts with encouraging talent I, night. I don't know. <laughs> yes. and it, but it will be for the ends of that. Yeah. To say, to say, you know. In, encourage this while this as well but in, encourage this there's some kid here who's not going to be yes. an actual scientist because look it, it built a life built a life yeah. you know something that you took for granted we just did I think it was to keep the boarding school kids busy one evening was to become my life so I, I want to plow back yeah. because there must be another youngster like me do you know when I was growing up uh, we had a measure of jealousy towards the 
and I use that word very carefully because yeah. I don't think it was inherent. It was yes. they're better than us mm. uh, of uh, go, those that are going to CBC. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. This it, was obviously CBC Pretoria. Pretoria, the big, big one. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. The yes. one called Silverton. Yeah. And we we always, because my time yeah. was just, just mm. when it was allowed. Okay. When I there were yeah, yeah, four yeah. kids, yes. four black kids or five yeah. black kids yeah. In, in, yeah. at school. And I remember, and I've told the story many times because <laughs> mm. the taxi that goes to from Mamelodi to town, mm. uh, if it buys Silverton, it passes it the passes school, by there. the gate. It drives past it. Yeah. My mom said this story so many times. It makes mm. me sad even now For sure. that poor lady couldn't pull it off. Wow. She said, one day, I want to bring you to the school. Sure. And she just never got around wow, it. Wow, for Dave. You know, so so every time I hear the CBC, I remember that time so well. And yet there were kids amongst my friends, even we're still friends even today, that went to that school wow. and we're the same age. Sure. And I don't think, man, poor lady couldn't do it. Wow, for but Dave. But it's okay. We'll do the best we can. Tell me, tell me, does is it is it of any significance to you to to then sit across a youngster because listen to the contrast of our stories mm -hmm. where you had aspirations um, and and so did your folks to, you know, to get into this place. Yeah. I did and played with it. Imagine that. Isn't that an interesting contrast, man? It's the man? craziest thing about life because sure. it's, it's, it's that kid that whose parents own a own a butchery and they don't eat cheese until the butchery is gone. And now it's like, I wish I had cheese. Yeah. It's like me when I went to Durban for three years to study at a university, I didn't see the sea once because oh, wow. it didn't matter. Yeah, yes, It was yeah, always, yeah. Ah, was we'll always go, right we'll go there. another day. Yeah. And until I was done, it's like, ah, oh, no, we didn't yeah, go. No, yeah. It's exactly that. That's, so many it's, people, it's, it's like having someone that adores mm. you, you adore them, but for some reason you're not it doing this quite, right. Yeah, and then it. you look back, it's like, man, I could mm, have done better. Yeah. It's those songs that are written about, yeah. I should have bought you flowers. I yeah. could have bought you flowers. Yeah. It's exactly that. It's a story of missed opportunity. I was too young yeah. to see it. I was too young to see it, man. I was too young to see it, right? Yeah. No, I, I, I wanted to go to CBC, man. Sure. It, it makes me sad even now thinking about mm. it because it was not my dream. It was my mom's dream more than it was mine. Yeah. I didn't understand it. I was a kid. But for her, it was one day, one day, one day. Then I finished my trick. It's like, oh, we mm. can't do that thing anymore. Sure. Yeah, I should just probably go there and pass by. Just to kind of close it, man. <laughs> just to, you know, hold a hand. Go and deliver a talk there or something. Yeah, Dave. hold you a hand. I mean? You know what I mean? Yes, man. Yeah, anyway. Wabo? We'll get around it. Right? We'll get Indeed. around it. Sure, but thank you for sharing that. Yeah, I think it's it's one of those yeah. those stories. Who who did you go to school with who's gone to do similar things that you did? Yeah, similar. In, in, in terms of career uh, and uh, entertainment. Uh, look, ev everyone uh, took a little bit of a different direction, but yeah. um, you may know a certain Zanele Bakyashe. She was um, uh, my junior. Okay. But she's highly, highly accomplished business person in various aspects. Um, I know the one thing that a lot of people may recognize her from is she participated in that, uh, I think it was called uh, Apprentice oh, yes. South Africa. Got and you. she won it. Wow. Now uh, now the name comes yes, back. Yes. And, uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, um, her, her elder sister. The one, the one that was done by Tokyo. Yes, yes, yes. that's correct. Yes. So yeah, anyway, that's... Uh, uh, as she comes to mind obviously I, I, everyone else was very well accomplished in yes. business mm. I'm just trying to think of if somebody was in the in entertainment who was this oh Tommy Tommy oh yeah Tommy yes, was here he's been you here. Tommy yes. yeah, he's Tommy a Kimberly guy well. was, yeah was my junior by and he mentioned two, CBC years. yes <laughs> good, good guy, old Tommy, man. Very accomplished actor in the entertainment space. Was he, you say he things. was your junior? He was my junior, yeah. yeah. By maybe like a good uh, two years or three okay. years or so. Okay. Yeah. So you see, yeah. it was like, hey. No, he went on to do some really great things, man. Amazing I'm, I'm things. Honestly, yeah. honestly proud. Superstar. Yeah. Superstar. Generation yeah. star. You know, you make Indeed. it a generation. Da, you you've can made make it for it life. Anywhere. That's it. <laughs> exactly. That's it. And, and now, the rap. Yes. What brings you to Vets Tech? So I barely made it out of school. I uh, came to Joburg in 99. <laughs> to... barely made no, it. No, barely, man. Like... Nah, barely. Barely got out of there. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, we can keep this one here. You He's going to win no, more talent shows. That's it. <laughs> Barely made it out of there. Yeah. Um, came to Joburg to study IT. Okay. Um, this was kind of um, the influence of the time. Yeah. Uh, but also, we my, all remember. My, yeah, my brother was also doing IT already. Okay. He's a year, a couple of years ahead of me. But you know, on the advice of my dad, now that he gave up and realized I wasn't going to be a doctor. <laughs> what did he dream of you being he a doctor? Did, he did. Poor guy. He did. What nah, a far fetched idea. Was, ah, right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, and so came to uh, to Joburg to pursue this IT then. Mm -hmm. Enrolled at Dovitz Tech. My mom and I came by bus. I was at the residence there at the Majuba. Mm. And... Uh, Majuba, Ghana, it's by the, the by bun bunting. No, you sort of climb up there. That bunting one you're talking about was uh, SABC... It's a, a court, broadcast court. Broadcast court, yeah, that's BC, right. You know, BC, yes, 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 that's right. Because it used to be a SABC building. It used to be, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Then, I remember it was some SABC something, yes. a broadcast court. That's right. Employees at SABC used to exactly. use it as accommodation. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, this now IT at Vits Tech mm. exposed me now. Because there used to be these on-campus talent sessions, <laughs> open mics, ah. first year's concert, first year's that, Majuba concert, this, that, and the other. I attended one. I remember. We were like, yeah. by three years. Yes, yes, so yes. So we used yeah, to yeah, come yeah. there to check out the, the ladies. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. yeah, man, Renaling this year. It didn't quite work. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but Dave, that's all I spend my time doing, man. Um... Rapping was rapping, I but I'm you, in you, now. you are tertiary and you're rapping. I'm rapping, I'm, I'm getting to rap activity jam, whatever means I can. If any of my friends had a car, I that's that's what I was doing. You would go, who was doing rap? Activity? Oh, it was Oskido, it was Oskido, the big O with RBP, Rude Boy Paul. Yes, I uh, was hosting rap activity jam. Mischief was <laughs> uh, the resident MC. That's where my that's where my heart was. When I look. You, I feel like, are underestimating when I tell you. <laughs> you were rapping. I was rapping. I, I, no, I had a girlfriend that 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 knew you oh. as a rapper. Oh, she was, uh, she was at Vest Tech. Uh huh. Yes, I came with her from Pretoria. Oh, and she went to Vest Tech. Uh -huh. So that's why I know, I know the the, the rapper proverb. Yes, that nobody else knew. That's it. And like, wasn't popular. It was popular yeah. among students yeah. at school and yeah. all of that. I know that guy. But also the mentality, Dave. Every time you came by and you had any kind of baggy pants or a cap backwards, I thought you were a rapper. <laughs> you standing here, we are battling. <laughs> you, are, you are crazy. Between class, after class. This guy is just wearing a, a cap backwards. Bye. <laughs> oh, you have a little twang. <laughs> let's rap. Yeah, let's, let's, bet, let's battle. Hey, yo, my man, carry that. Hey, yo. <laughs> It's a rap. It's like an it's MIE. A... Yeah, we barely. Uh, you know, because I had embodied the mentality. <laughs> you were crazy. I was crazy. No, I was crazy. Yes. No, I, w I was crazy, man. And that coming to Joburg really just fed the machine. <laughs> you know? But, but what know. was it about, about, yeah. about this crazy town, this concrete jungle that represented... The next step. No, it was it was the Mecca, man. Come on, because I'm from Kimberley's. Yeah. Comparatively speaking, yeah. this was now the big city. Uh, the opportunities are here. The radios are here. Um, I met uh, about uh, Nimrod Ngosi. He Jeez. was uh, the MC of uh, at the, the Majuba. Oh, they oh they, the first year's concert, yes. okay. which I won. <laughs> Yeah, Which I won. Guy. So you told me about Rap Activity Jam, mm. but also where did we know him from? From Jam Ali. Jam Ali. Jam Ali. Oh yes, you did Jam Ali. There's and, an episode of you then, on Jam Ali. And then that was the goal now. You won Jam Ali I went well. on Jam Ali. Kind of what did you get? A, a, uh, Jam a boom Blaster. blaster. Mm. There were chocolates. <laughs> ah, but they give you none of those things. You just get the money. Oh. I mean, I got the chocolates, I remember. But everything else was <laughs> a monetary cash, value. Yeah, yes. my brother and I went and bought jeans. <laughs> I remember that day vividly, man. <laughs> Dude, you won. You won at yeah. Jam Alley. The Jam Alley, Rap Activity Jam. Then I went on Fat Joe's show uh, on Metro FM mm. called Rap A Lot Wednesdays yes. that I held for some six weeks. As, and as that, the guy. by the way, is where the, the name now began to... Because it's Metro. Because it was metro. It's the mighty yeah, metro. that's when the whole proverb, hey, who, proverb, who, man, guy, started to happen. Subsequently, got my collaboration with uh, Ammunition. 
you got to attention. Attention, attention. And the rest is Gunna, how does the song go again? Attention, attention. Who's that? Uh, Who's the, oh my oh God. Oh man, I, rem- I just remember the attention. Attention, attention. Who's that? Yeah. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Uh, whatever. Somebody will remember. Somebody will remember, right? <laughs> my gosh. That's how far back it was. Do you know the song Letter to My Ex mm. made it through uh, before the fame? As in, it was the song that, in my opinion, from because yeah, yeah. I used to drive Pretoria at Joburg. At the time, I was working at an ad agency. Yeah. And there was this song that always played yeah. almost every morning. On YFM? On YFM. Now, you have to give a little context. Okay. I st- uh, completed sound engineering, right? Mm. After failing IT. Oh. I- I'm just kind of connecting oh, so the, the IT timelines quickly. Thing no, didn't work out. No, I was rapping. <laughs> you were really rap rapping. stood in the way you of were everything. Man. I was battling my lecturers instead of listening to them. <laughs> so, uh, jeez. Um, <laughs> after two years of attempting, mm. first year at Vistec, then I went to Midrand University, failed there too. Okay. I then did sound I- engineering mm, at which school? LMB, LMB campus. Yes. There was that. Which I completed. And from there, I then got my, and I'm connecting the timelines for Mm, you, okay? mm -hmm. Then I got my job at YFM as a technical producer for DJ Fresh. That's it. Now you're back on his show. Yeah. Uh, on well, now you you come in not as a as a battling DJ, rather a rapper. As a technical as a, producer. Now you're working. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. you must understand, even the sound engineering, in my mind, was my gateway. It was intentional. To rap. It was intentional. Everything was leading to rap. So um <laughs> but the AKA t- is a similar story. Exactly. Yeah. You see. So um when I recorded my first song then, which mm. was Letter to My Ex. Uh-huh. I had the immediate plug. You can play it yourself, pretty much. Big Dog is right here. Yeah. You know, and the Kikrut Manaka Big Dog. You know what I mean? So that's how I enjoyed the privilege. The privilege. <laughs> yes. You know, the, the privilege. But not only that, man, you know, Big Dog would also let me freestyle with the guests uh, and some legendary names, you know. Mm. Uh, Boman Brenda Fasi, whenever we, she came as a guest, Jeez. he would always say, Ntwanaka from the back. I would come and rap with this guy whenever we had any kind of other rapper on the show. Mm. The resident MC was here. Whenever we did OBs outside broadcasts for some kind of client or There's something, there was a stage and there was a mic, you know. Rap. He would bring the boy on some <laughs> kind of rap competition. Because remember, it was emerging back then. He always put me on, come man. Along. So I, I really owe a lot also to, to was, the big dog. Was he doing the Easy Drive or it was breakfast, Morning Show? The yes. Freshest Breakfast Show. Yeah, I was a technical the producer. The Tato and Tato. That's the one. I used to love that all that show. branding, that imaging, those that liners, was all those you. Were, ah, it was your boy. <laughs> that that was, was what I, yeah, I was that, here with the levers. That was all you. Indeed. Yeah. What led to the decision for sound engineering? My mom, my mom said, "Look, man, I bought your computer to do schoolwork. Mm. All you make it on this thing is beats. And remember, Fruity Loops. Fru- it was okay. the Fruity Loops era. Yeah. And my mom was." trying to meet me halfway because they weren't to give up on me. That's why, you know, bless their souls forever. Mm. And they were saying, look, man, you clinking and clanking at this thing all day long. I did a little bit of research Mm. and I realized, all right, maybe, maybe let's find a happy medium. Mm. And we agreed on sound engineering. And you were, you were good with this. And yeah, it did come with a threat though to say, this is the last time. Uh Oh, we are, we are, (laughs) As sort of investing any resources. Because mm-hmm. remember, I had a little sister who was now also coming up behind You are school. delaying the progress. And almost uh, monopolizing their efforts. So they were saying, we need to start redirecting everything to everybody else because we're not. We've tried. And bless the hearts they had, really. <laughs> yeah. So by the time I did sound engineer, I began to really do well. Yeah. So much so that I was employed at LMB to be a student advisor. And I was a lecturer for the <laughs> for the part time students. That's how well I took to it. What you and enjoyed it? I enjoyed it. I did well, but also it was the looming threat that this is my last chance. Also, oh, that threat did make a difference. That was my rude awakening. Jeez, it took yeah, a while. It took a while, but it uh, I came around eventually. And, right? and, and getting the job at Y, how yes. how easy was that? Because I imagine no, there were some not, kids that yeah. were doing what you were doing. You know, there's there's multiple versions of the story which I come to discover. Mm. Um, and, and may I share two? Give, yes, give the version that most closest to what you believe. I believed 
that I had a demo of sound engineering jingles, mm-hmm. promos, liners, liners the and like, ideas right? And all of that. That I took almost weekly to YFM. And the guy that I'd gotten to know was Tato. Mm, the young Tato. The young Tato. Yeah, yeah. And I was, ah, Timon, I'm going to send a what, what? He kept saying, no, it's looking promising. It's this, it's this. I'll mm, forward, I'll forward. Mm. I kept bringing a new one. I was very eager. He's a very sweet, de- easy guy. No, of course, yeah. man. <laughs> uh, and I kept submitting and submitting and submitting. And on one occasion, after I learned that the existing a technical producer, mm-hmm. and honestly, it's not my story to tell. That's the only reason I suppose I'm not saying names, okay? Yeah. Uh, had now been removed from the position because of some misunderstanding okay. or other. yeah. Uh, so I knew there was not a producer. There, mm-hmm. there wasn't one at mm. that particular time. And so using that and the little <laughs> headway I had made, I thought that's how I secured a job. Big Dog called me on a Monday. I started immediately. So yeah, That's the version I believed for a long time. Okay. <laughs> Who corrected it? And then I wrote my book even in my memoir. Oh. That's how I tell the story. Oh, no. <laughs> During this time is the second version of the story. Mm. I had befriended a Dill, and a Dill had sort of started playing some of my battle songs on radio and all that. Mm. A Dill, who had now come to my place at Student Village and seen that I make beats, I make promos, I have aspirations mm-hmm, of mm-hmm. getting into radio. You're tinkering. He <laughs> is biting the ear of Big Dog. Is this boy to say? There's this young, talented kid. Please give him a shot. Please give him a shot. This, mind you, was all unbeknownst to me. It was all happening. I, mind you, I'm discovering this in the last two years <laughs> of my life. And we're talking 2003. Who's telling you now? Adil I was like, me. do you remember? And even Fresh says to me, Adil was on my case. Or there's this kid, there's this kid, there's this kid. And he never uh, took any credit. He, he never took did a- any he... credit for it, man. Yeah. You know, which again shows what, what a special breed he and people like Big Dog are, mm-hmm. you know. So, so maybe it's a great opportunity, you know, to say, if if there were to be a documented platform, let me let me express my gratitude to Adil yeah. after having learned how instrumental he was in securing me. That what gay. was the, be- the beginnings? You thought you were doing it all yourself. I th- I not. I <laughs> thought I did it all myself. I thought it was being at the right place, right time. The misfortunes of the guy who had the role before me, and you know. But when I when I later learn of everything else that happened in the background behind the scenes to help me get to here, I therefore owe my gratitude to to. Well Adil. done, Adil. Well done. Yeah, Adil you, Moore, I really hey, appreciate it, man. You know, Much respect. Out here, out here, yeah, Bob. Like a proper yes. Maputatswana guy. Yeah, Radio yeah. Bob days. There you go. Yes. Um, but David, do you know what other name comes to my mind that I always mention in the same line mm-hmm. as Adil? Tell and I'm, I hope you don't mind me volunteering the story. No, no, please. DJ Mbuso. Yes, I know DJ Mbuso. What happened? What did what did Mbuso do? And again, He wasn't a f- famous DJ in those days. Again, DJ Mbuso and I would have to one day just reconnect because there's so many gaps <laughs> in your story in my story that he has to complete mm. for starters I don't know where DJ Mbuso and I met yeah <laughs> nor do I remember why the heck he took interest in me talented kid I, I really don't what I do remember is being in DJ Mbuso's car mm. with my here CD it might even have been a cassette Possibly. And DJ Mbuso driving to all the record labels at the time. What? We drove to Sony. It was Sony BMG, I Where think. Where was Sony? Dunkelt, probably. It was then Rosebankish somewhere. Okay, yes, yes. Then we drove to another label. Uh, and even a third, even a fourth. And every time we got there, he would knew who the person was uh, and... Make them listen to my CD. Okay, Tony is blind. Listen to my CD, listen to my CD. Now, I didn't get uh, a... Any record a, deal? Any record deal in that time. Uh. But those those efforts I've never forgotten. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I, I don't know why he took this interest in, in me for some reason. But obviously, you know, some years later, I ended up did getting a record deal. But mm. I, I do appreciate that had that not happened you know it may not have been 
mm. within my purview or my sights. And I guess, but what did it do for your perspective of, of people then? Or you didn't even really recognize what this guy was doing? You know, I think, no, at the, at the time, no, I think I was well aware. Okay. You know, I, I, I don't want to sort of downplay it. I was well aware because we knew record labels exist. Mm. We knew the... You, you know you you know the 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 flight plan of a creative mm -hmm. and that is you create some kind of demo you get some kind of record deal yeah. then you potentially flourish you become a star and you become a star right mm. so in that sort of a pathway i knew that this step had to happen yeah. and and dj mbuso was the one who helped facilitate that and step. you you didn't physically know how to do that no he seemed like we had he no did. access yeah. who are the how do you find these people and all that you can't just knock no man and <laughs> i don't know I, I run into dj mbuso now mm. i tell him the story for some reason it's always ever in passing he and i have never sat down and then you walk past it and you move on we walk past it and move on but it's, it's documented in my memoir but he i think of in the same way that i do a deal mm. that i do Big Dog DJ, DJ Fresh, Fresh yeah. that I do guys like Sekhale Mohotzi, yeah, that I Metro. do guys like Greg Maloka, mm. that I do now Siskina at Metro FM. Jeez. Um, these for me are, are all the people where there was significant spikes, spikes mm. in this graph of life. Here's a, a moment, and I will I will give myself credit. Hey. Well, I have to. <laughs> no, it's it's not your story, but it's similar. <laughs> yeah. I have to. Yeah, yeah. And I've said this story and I will say it again and, 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 and I want the world to know it. Pro kid. Yes. Ish. I get a call. I was, I was friends with uh, Marco Seni. We were yeah. brothers, yeah. brothers, you know, from an, other mothers. Yeah. I used to work with him in an advertising agency. Uh, right. Marco, Marco Seni Nguene. lived mm. in Soweto, mm. uh, Orlando. And uh, at the agency, we'll talk about all sorts of things. He was yeah. a proper fanatic of, of rap music. Yeah. And it was when Local rap was bubbling under yes. Squatter Camp, Yana Pina, Yana, Yana, yeah, all yeah, of yeah. that. When it was not, we're not sure that where this thing is going. Yes. I, I was working with Just Eyes, uh, Metro FM's breakfast show. Mm. And I remember we had to ask our program manager to do one day of hip hop, local hip hop, because we were aware that this thing was happening. Yeah. And we could we didn't know where it is and all of yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. And and uh, we used to work with Kutlano, Kutlano's Kosana. All right. Uh, at right. the time, she was with, uh, what, is, what was that record label? Uh, that small record label, man. I forgot, I forgot it. I'll remember yeah. it. And and she was pushing for this idea mm. that let's let's do a day. And this is the big Metro FM where it was soul and R&B and all of that. Mm. And we asked for one when, random Wednesday to play hip hop, sure. local hip hop. And I think it was Leo who was program manager. Leo Manne and said, oh, okay, man. it's okay. Yeah. You, you can do that. Mm. And we, now as a producer of the show, I had to look for this damn content. Yeah, exactly. And, and I remember we, we gave us about a week or two mm. to find these guys and get their music because their yeah. music was not even in the system. Yes. Yeah, I, and yeah, yeah. I, I remember meeting, uh, who was at the time manager Yasquad Akem at uh, some garage. I forgot this guy. Tall, skinny yeah, guy. Yeah, tall guy. In fact, his younger brother was in the group as well. That's that guy. It, it, it might have been this Boo. Yes, Mrs. Yes. Boo. Yes. I think it was. And yeah. I, he gave me a CD. I met with ammunition oh, at yes. some random garage as yeah. well. Yeah. Gave him, yeah. a, gave me a CD. We loaded the music. That day came about. Mm -hmm. We played. We played local hip hop. Sure. Because remember, yes. Why was leading? Yeah, the metro yeah. was always yes. slower. Yeah, to, 10. to the uptake. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, we accepted yeah. that. It's yeah. a giant metro. It takes some time. And now we're liking the sound. Mm -hmm. We want a jingle now. Uh -huh. We want a hip hop yeah, yeah, local yeah. hip hop jingle. My, my cousin, this friend of mine, tells me about Egona mm. Yintuana. Yeah. At the time, he was not even pro kid. Yes, pro yes, kid yes. Well, was his name because he called himself yeah. that. And he tells me this boy works at Skipper Bar. In Southgate Mall, I arrange, I get his numbers, shop number, no cell phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they say, no, he's here. I then, a Saturday, I go there. Uh, I wait for him. I remember, I waited outside the shop yeah, yeah, yeah. for him to knock off. Then we drove to SABC. We got there, recorded with some stolen beat from, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back then, yeah. You take anything. The red tape was a little bit. <laughs> it was easy. Yes. 
we take this beat, yeah. Koi, his voice on it, and it played on Metro for an entire year. Sure. Before the pro kid, we got to know and laugh. And wow. Before, but that's significant, man. I wish I could find yes. the recording. <laughs> I'm sure in those archives somewhere. But you know how yeah, needle yeah. in the haystack, man. Yeah, I will have yeah. to go through so yeah, much yeah. to say, that it yeah. is. You have to spend a year looking, looking for something that played for that year. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, so when you tell the story, yes. I remember the pro kid yeah, moment where... Yeah. And, and, and oh, the reason I remembered is because you say, whenever you meet, you always talk, talk about For that. For sure, yeah. He did that all the time. Yeah. Every yeah. time I saw Pro Kid, he would say, nah, I'm here. Now, yeah, he is the guy that be, gave be, me my first part. To, to, <laughs> to you guys, it's probably not that big of a deal. It's probably something you were doing regularly. It was part of your, your job. You, you understand what exactly. I'm saying? But to, to, to him... That probably put him on course. Yeah. You know what I mean? It changed. Uh, it probably changed. It's the spike. His trajectory. There you go. It's the spike. That's, that's why we always mention, man, the guys who, yeah. you know what I mean? Who contributed to your career. And you can't, you can't forget the spikes, mm. eh? I think you're, you're ungrateful if you think yeah. you can make, make all of this on your own. Yeah. Or, or, yeah, or that you're self-made. Not possible. No one's self-made, man. Not possible. Yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's talk about this song, Letter to My Ex, and how you had access. You really love this song. <laughs> no, I'll tell you why. Yeah. For me, and I bet you yeah. I'm not alone. We used to hear it all the time. For sure. And and it was this kid that we didn't know how he looked like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. whose song was playing all the time on the radio. And I remember, I was thinking... Where is it in the album? Which mm, album? Yes, Where? Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it in the al in any album? Yeah, because so it it's, it's available a, now. It was off of a mixtape uh, that Outrageous Records released. Um, what was it called? Yo, was it in a hidden track? track of no, then when I released my debut album, uh. I f I remember us first saying, "Ah, the song is now popular. It's now been done." It's, you know, now you want to release a fresh project detached from the song. Mm. But then I don't know what happened, but he suddenly came back with a different energy and I don't know who had planted something in his ear and he said, no, you know what, put it as a hidden track or a bonus track. So he just had it as a bonus track. But truth is, it didn't belong on the album. There was no attachment to it. But we we had to like put it somewhere. Do you know why I, it stands out for me? It's because of that hidden track mm. thing. Because it's, it wasn't a common thing. No, 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 no. It wasn't even bonus. It was hidden. Yeah. You wouldn't see it. No. You, you, no on the it, sleeve. Yeah. It was a good couple of minutes after, after the last song. After the last song. song. So basically the album would, the, the CD would play and finish. And finish, yeah. But it's still rolling. Yeah. And then and then then you start hearing the piano, mm. then the song starts, because that that doesn't yeah. happen. No, so so the, it it came out on a mixtape. Zeno, who I was signed to at the time, mm -hmm. I think may not have appreciated. Actually, Zeno ended up working with Kukani. Yes, yes, exactly. And 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 uh, who's that lady? Light in complexion, Maria. Maria McClure. Yes. yes. So uh, Zeno, I think got an appreciation of how impactful the song is and mm. what it's doing, mm. then said, you know what? It was the last minute decision I remember. Oh, yeah. I think before we went for printing. Mm. And he said, you know what? That that song, man, let's oh, put yeah. it as a bonus. And so it ended up on my debut album. I think Let it, it did to well. Yeah. Do you acknowledge it like I do? Does it, you, I, does it, it stand seems, out for you? It seems more, let me say, when I, if I were to sort of map my music career, yeah, um, I feel like there were songs that did more for my career than Letter than to that My that one, yes. yeah, yeah. But but it being almost early in the beginning, yeah, maybe because of the time where it was in 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 the career, maybe it was still when you were still building mm. the career, you know. But for me, songs like. Um, Microphone Sweet Home. Oh. Um, oh, 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 you're taking me back, just man. Have a you're making mark. me sentimental. Sounds like I have a dream. Yes. Um, I have a dream. Yeah, you know yes. what I mean? Bought Attention, which I was featured on. Th those for me are the songs that come to my mind. When you think of songs. If you say, if you say highlight your music journey. Yeah. So the beginning bits, I would define with those, but taking nothing away from, from Letter to My Ex. There's an album that you made me listen to once. You were at Metro at the time. Yeah. 
it had 007 inspiration. Oh, yeah. What happened to that? No, so remember in between albums, you're constantly recording. Yes. So there was a, a song that had a James Bond-inspired concept. And, and chords. And, and even and, the and instrumentation the instrumental, yeah. was such. Yeah. But the lyrics also, it was very much a James Bond thing. But you get songs that, that never make it to an album. Mm. And that was one of them. But I, I then put a mixtape together called uh, Off the Books. Okay. Yes. Because remember, all my albums were, were book reminiscent. Ah, so the Book of Proverb manuscript, of, right yes, of yes, passage. They were, they were Bible. The ex- yeah. There were so, sort of book references. Yes, yes. So I did a mixtape called Off the Books, mm-hmm. denoting that this is the material <laughs> that's not quite in the books. Mm, it's the it's the it's the off cuts. <laughs> it's the off cuts. It's one hundred percent off cuts. Yeah. So it lived there. Wow. It lived there. Um also remember the what I thought was clever at the time, what inspired the idea mm. was because the year was two thousand and seven. Okay. So remember we referred to that year as 007. Yes. Yes. So it Yeah, so because the album was only to come out the next year. It 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 no longer it had that. Yes, yeah, that's, the reference. That's, why, that's part of why it didn't make the album. Because it didn't. I remember thinking, whatever happened to that? No, because like, you played it for me as a random. Yes, hey, yeah, check, yeah. check this well, out. Yes. No, so it ended up not making an album because the yeah, then it was misplaced a bit, yeah. and so I put it on the mixtape. When you look back at your mu- music career, do you feel it it did what it was meant to do for your career? Oof. Look, it, it definitely satisfied the itch and the desire that I had. Mm. But uh, I, I think I almost had greater hopes for uh, it. Okay. You know, um, which is why choosing to, to walk away was not a, a, an easy decision to come by, you know. Um, and I almost feel like it was circumstances Mm. that put me in a position where I had to rethink what was going on what, now. What were the circumstances at the time? I had kids. I had a family. I had responsibilities. <laughs> and I, I just found myself giving to this thing, mm. not getting anything back. And it was now taking away from everything else, hey. which it had like all my life. But yeah. I feel like I was just at a crossroad now. Now it wasn't mommy's voice. Yeah. It was life. My, It was life. It was life. But there was also like a series of events at that same time that led to this culmination. Yeah. One, of, one of which was I had also just bought my master's from, you know, for my debut album. Okay. The Book oh. of I even made a big announcement mm, and a big hoo-ha. Mm. Prematurely, (laughs) now hindsight tells me. I made this big announcement and all that. And I spent a certain amount of money, which I didn't necessarily have, but Mm. I just wanted to own own it. And so it was a combo of frustrations. Then I I tried to release this thing. Mm. (laughs) And we're now in the digital era. In the Spotify world. That's it. I try to release this thing. And it comes back with a series of, of errors and why it can't upload. And included in there was the fact that there were all these samples. Oh, in the music. In the music. And so it asked me to submit clearance Clear- documents. Oh, boy. Changes the, the story. Then I request the clearance documents. Uh. And look, they, they, they are not the villains in the story, you yeah. know. But they were like, no, man. But remember, when we were recording about 2004, 2003... This was, we were just recording. Yeah. We'd just take a beat and. We, we, put we didn't it out even think it. the song, anyone in America will hear no, it. No, we never asked the producer any question mm. other than. Because Letter to My Ex features, for example. Yes. It is sampled, um, what is this? this Isley, is Isley Brothers. Isley Brothers, yes. yeah. <laughs> With their voices and everything. Absolutely. So <laughs> it was a sign of the times where we were just rapping on beats and putting them on and we never asked producers mm. a second question. So I said to him, so we we don't have this thing, these documents. <laughs> Even no. your, your facial expression. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not realizing, it's it's dawning on me that I just spent money by buying thing, these things. And I potentially can't exploit it. They have no value. I potentially can do nothing with it. Yeah, that's probably the first mm. moment of awakening. Then I consider 
what if I re-record this whole thing? Now, but Dave, this is, for me, a, an interesting story. Mm. Because call it coincidence, I don't know. But the, that morning of... The recording? No, the morning the of me going to go get a quote to re-record this whole album. Okay. I go to my kid's school. Mm. And I ask them, what are the fees for next year? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they give me an amount. Mm. Ach, I'll, I'll share it with a you because it, yeah. it makes the story It completes the story. Yeah. And they said, for your two children for next year, it'll be 150000 We're talking now mm. 10 years or so Even ago. Longer. Yes. For the next year. Mm. All right. I now know that for next year, this is my kids' fees. Then I go to Jazzworks, mm. the studio where I used to record. Mm, it's it Robin's studio. Yeah, it's it. Yes, yes. Up the road, not far from yeah. here. And I say, all right, I've now bought my master's, which I've already spent a couple of hundreds on <laughs> securing. Mm. And I'm now proud of <laughs> you made an announcement. my acquisition. I made an It made I the own, papers, man. I, I own my music. I own it. I'm the glory boy <laughs> of ownership and all that at the time, right? Yes. And now I can't exploit it. I, f- I then get a quote to re-record this whole album without the samples. Mm-hmm. So that I like can Like complete recreation. Of, yes. Yeah. Bear in mind for context, but Dave, I- I'm not making all that much money mm. at the time. So I'm still very much... Where were you? Where were you earning your, your money and at the all time? That. I'm, I'm still kind of on radio. Mm, but but um, as a as a engineer? No, Con- I'm, I'm maybe on air now. Okay. But, Look, it's not like we were breaking the bank Mm-mm. being on radio. We still don't. We still don't. <laughs> um, and and television, I was already on Idols and the like, okay. Yeah. But the quote to re-record almost matches the quote from my kids' school fees. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're a father who's caught in two worlds. But Dave, I remember sitting in the car and asking myself, Am I going to pay for the studio Mm. to re-record this thing, which I may potentially never make back? Mm -mm. Because it's music. Because I've never made anything from music, really. Yeah. yeah. And also, now you know it's a gamble. Yeah. Yeah. Or, am I going to pay for my kids' school fees? Sure. That's a good man decision. And that day... I have never been back to a studio. What? I have never been back. That was the moment. That was the moment. That's crazy. That was the moment. Never wanted to go back? (laughs) Years later? When you think, well, now I have that money. Where's Robin? (laughs) That obviously then started a domino effect of a series of thoughts and how I think about it now. Mm. Because then I was forced to face the fact that I've actually never made anything from music. It was always a passion project. Then I started comparing it against my entire life. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, I probably failed because of it. I probably didn't thrive ah, because of it. Okay. Uh, I, I, you know, by then I buried my mom mm. who in her mind, what was standing between us was always this thing. It was always, <laughs> you know, then it, it, it started just becoming a, a thing that I, I realized was the common denominator. Of negativity. Uh, uh, for a lot of my life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so it, it was always a passion, but I feel like it was a passion that that I, I put before so many other things. Mm-hmm. And once I removed that veil, I, it, life just became, I, I could see so much more of what I feel like I put in the way of. Was it a, se- a sense of relief? How would you describe that? That now... I don't have to answer to this to this mo- ma- master, not even monster. <laughs> was, what was the feeling when, when you woke up the following day and music wasn't what it was the day before? I'll tell you what for me is a little bit of a catch-22 and a double-edged sword. Mm. Sword. I, I, I'm always teased about how I say that wrong. <laughs> uh, is I began to see the fruits of having put this cross down that I was carrying, Mm -hmm. you know? So, you know, I began to start seeing my money because it was all going going to this thing. I I began to see other opportunities open up um, career-wise. 
I began to rebrand. Uh, I, I became a, a little more corporate. So I was getting more corporate gigs more regularly. It Doing was what? As MC, MC gigs. speaking yes. and all that. Um, you, you know, uh, serving on boards. I started serving on the board of, of Flight Center. Uh, you know, I started serving on the board of, uh, of Samro. Mm. And I just feel like I was kind of doing things that were a lot more aligned to where I was, I was going. It was no longer some 2 a.m. gig at club whatever mm-hmm. to do two songs. And get three tau. And get three tau. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and and that's that saddens me though. But why? Because you, you even call that it a cross. Me. You know, in the, yeah. in the story of Jesus, the cross is is a heavy thing. Yeah, it's symbolic of, it's of, of a of, heavy... Of yeah. heavy and yeah. shouldn't be happening. Because music genuinely was, was something that I... I, I sacrificed a lot of opportunities for because mm. I I was blindly and I and blindly it's not even there by mistake either, but I I was really blindly chasing it. Yeah. But I think I was also blinded by it. I, I look you know? at I look at it and and maybe I shouldn't even say much, but ask you. Surely there, there's value in the chase, in hindsight. There must be some value in this. I wanted it so badly. And yes, I stopped, but there was everything else that probably wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for it. Yeah, I can't deny that. It, it, it'll be very um, unfair and just dishonest mm. to, say, um, to say it didn't contribute to the building of so many other things. Um, but... I do often wonder what other things there may have been. If it was had, yeah, had I not been so squarely on this thing, man. Um, mm. you, you know what I mean? Like, now, when I sit as, as a 43-year-old first-year student mm. with 19, 21, 22-year-olds, but I do think the 20 years between us you know, what did I do with them, man? I was, no. I was rapping. No, I'm, I'm telling you how <laughs> no, no, it feels no. I, to me. I, I don't care. I, I hear it and, you know? I, and I hear it. I'm telling you how it feels to me. I, you feel like... I feel like... You fed this monster for what? I feel like other than defending myself on social media all day long about... <laughs> Just every single day. Every single day. But I often wonder to myself... Other than answering that question every day, what else do I have to show for it? You know what I mean? Do you know the way that question comes from? Or those questions? It's the same question asked by many people. Do you know where it comes from, though? From their perspective. And I appreciate that, you know. In other words, I appreciate that we have different perspectives. So so I I, I kind of get somebody asking me that. And I don't that's why I don't disregard. Or, or or discredit you, you know. Mm, mm. I, I do get overwhelmed by it. I, in other words, where I'm like, all day long, that got me. <laughs> or I, just listen well, to the last guy I told this. <laughs> I didn't tell you. You know what I mean? Or I'm po- I just posted, I just said, <laughs> studying my MBA today, super excited. And then you get comment a comment. Number one. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, Doc, yesterday I was telling somebody, Mm. Why? Read just, the post. Just go talk to him. <laughs> Read the post two weeks ago. Every, and it's not fair that that that's my attitude. Yeah. Uh, because I I understand. <laughs> Hell, I was telling an Uber driver just the other day, same mm. thing. Mm. Who's also like, ah, Veb, when are you dropping? Mm. Um, look, I get it from your, from their point of view, and I really do. Yeah. You know, and I understand that you feel like by by saying it, by asking, by engaging, you're supporting. Mm. Um, but I also have my perspective too. It's true, yeah. You know, um, but you but you can't be impatient with no, and with, I shouldn't be. Yeah. I shouldn't be. It's human nature, though. And this person, you can, you can imagine it, but Dave, come on, you can imagine, man. <laughs> no, I, if every single person asked me about moment, 
with me, it would be probably about Metro FM. When I, yeah. when I, I still get that question. Yeah. About when I worked for, for, did breakfast at Metro. Yeah. I still get that. Yeah. And sometimes unconnected, like you'll say, <laughs> I'm being MBA. Going to look at houses. Mm, and then, <laughs> Metro. Changing attire, petrol's gone up. <laughs> Metro. <laughs> And, and, and you're, so, you're so active on social media. You probably get it a hundred times more Man, than I ever will. You know, but but you're absolutely right in that you, you can't disregard the perspectives. But I also can't disregard what I think my music journey exposed me to and probably put me in a position to explore. Mm-hmm. Um, the, look, the fact that I still go by Proverb, even in these so-called board meetings and corporate events and... Uh-huh. And this, the other, it 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 plugs back in. So I I cannot disregard that the plug is on the wall and the switch is still on. Yeah, I I cannot disregard it now. Yeah. Now, do I ever in my car if a beat comes on, <laughs> would I ever find myself just <laughs> spitting, <laughs> battling with yourself? You know, <laughs> do I? Sure. <laughs> How often does that happen? Am I ever on my phone? And then you quickly open up, uh, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> your notepad, and you start thinking, and you oh, just ready to take it there. For sure. And then you type. So you have some for lyrics. Sure. But, <laughs> for Dave, but I feel a moral obligation to explore the opportunities that took the back foot. Mm. at the expense of chasing my passion yeah that that i will feel like i'm betraying them and i've learned nothing mm. from life years. experiences After 20 yeah. years. if i were to take time from these other things to go and yo 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 let me tell you though what and how you should <laughs> and I like that you, you do respect it. And I, I have maybe you respect it. And I, you knew yeah. 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 for sure, of course. And it's nothing it com- necessary. Yeah. It's, it's nothing complicated, really. Yeah. Is we, we're very nostalgic. Yes. South Africans, I don't know yeah. how other people are, yeah. but one thing I've learned in my job, almost all of it mm. is about feeding the nostalgia yes, monster. Yes, indeed. And whether it's the music, or whether it's this, this, yeah. this conversation, yeah. whether it's the radio I do, mm. the DJ gigs I do, that's yeah. all about. There's this yeah, nostalgia yeah. thing that South Africans are so good at. We enjoy it. We love reminiscing. Mm. You have a, a page mm. in this huge book yeah. of a million pages. Right. You have a page yeah. in those that loved this new thing. Mm. It was new. It was very new, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. It was new to all of us and, and, and it stood out. That's why I kept on referring to that song because mm. I used to drive <laughs> I used to drive from Mami Lodi to Sante. Yeah. I used to work for an ad agency on Grayston Drive. For sure. And that song would play almost, and I say every day because you know when you listen to radio mm. on a daily basis, the same station, yeah, you yeah. end up knowing the words yes, to the songs exactly. that, are, that play all the time. So the, you get a page yeah. in South Africa's hip-hop history. Sure. And, and it's all you. At the top, we wrote the proverb. Mm. And it's all you yeah. and the things you did in that time. Your verses, we remember them. Yeah. You cannot we expect us to forget that. For sure, that's fair. You cannot expect us, when we read that book, to say, I can page a proverb. Yeah. We move past it and mm. go to the mm. next page. Yeah. And it doesn't matter. Yeah. It stands out. There are people today, my nephew, for example, who doesn't know anything about yeah. that page? Yeah. And when they hear it, they say, really? Mm, that guy, the idols guy. The idols guy. What? Yeah. You yeah, know yeah, what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Really? He gets yeah. a page? Yeah. In South African hip hop? Mm. He does. And and because it's it stands out in so many of our minds, we remember it like it was this morning. It, 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 say, say any of your verses of popular songs. Let's see if I can complete. Anyone? Mm, I have of the dream, popular po- really, for of the any popular, like super popular song. Do you I know suck, like but, a, oh, but you know like Blessed and Highly Favored, I'm sure. Uh, let's go to kind of the songs that you said, they stand out a lot more than, than Letter to My Ex. What was it? In the beginning. Yes. Uh, to be, I Have a Dream. Okay, another one. 
uh, it would be you, we spoke about the attention with amu, yes, ammunition. Yes, yes, we we struggled with that. We struggled uh, remembering the words. Then there'd be songs like uh, like blessed and highly favored okay. with uh, the soil. Yes, I remember that. But there's I'm looking for called, one I'll remember properly. There's a song called "The Beginning" with Lunge Lo. Uh -huh. That was also you mentioned uh, the song, man, and we all one? remember. We you mentioned songs that definitely get a mention. Women, not women. Okay, let's go to women. Try to do part of it. To all the women in my life and all the women the in the world, world, the women that are wives and to all the little girls that are growing up to be the, women, listen to, to the, the verb. Love. I, I appreciate. appreciate. <laughs> what does it say? And just, I scribbled a little, little bit. Yeah, Dude, man. there's a lot of us. For sure. For that sure. would do exactly what I just tried yeah, to do yeah, here. There's yeah. a Look, lot of I, and I don't I don't discredit it. Um it's it's one of those where there's just two sides of the same story and and one I think shouldn't disregard the other. Because you didn't you know? leave with the words that I hardly use, the music. You didn't do a fuck fuck mm -mm. to the music. You said Not you really. said you said chap, I'm I'm out. Yeah, I just thought I, you know, I I just thought I did my best. I tried, I gave it my all. I invested 50, 20 years of my life. Um and to you with nothing to show. So it so it feels, you know. Um, well, well, that's why I'm giving you this perspective. Yeah. We remember all of it. Yeah. We remember every minute of it. <laughs> I won an award for verse of the year. Imagine that. After I walked away. Here's a brutal statement. And, and if it's unfair, it's, it's not meant with malice. The statement is, whenever somebody asks me, or there's some conversation, you know what I always think at the back of my brain? Yeah. And I have maybe said it once or twice, which is unfair, but I have said it. When they're talking about, what is the conversation? Music. Music. Rap. Right, okay. I always think to myself, where were you when I cared? You know what I mean? Mm, I, like, why now, 20 years later, when I, when my priorities are elsewhere? You know what I mean? We were there, man. We were there. We remember it. Like, when I see those royalty statements, which mm. I still get, by the way. Of course you would. <laughs> no, but they'll say, 0 0.30 cents. And then I sit and I think to myself, this is 20 years of my life. This is 20 years of my life. It comes life. to 0.37 cents. Yeah. No, we remember. You know what I mean? But you, you no, know what I mean? No, I get it. I get it. No, but we... But again, I don't say that to, to disregard the flip side, you know. It's not to disregard it. I'm just, I'm just almost trying to yeah. show my side because I feel like from, from where you sit, mm. it seems like Ah, you can't just up and go. <laughs> well, that's exactly like, how it seemed. Oh, Vaile. Ah, Salio. When we opened the cupboards, what's yeah, that? Yeah, he yeah, yeah, took everything. Really, man. <laughs> yes. When you like, ish. But, but no, though, man. You know what yeah. I mean? I, it was not a, it was not a decision to just say, ah, well, okay. I'm doing TV now. Here's I'm a, making more there. Here's, so. here's a different perspective also. Yeah. Um, and I'm not comparing, I, I, you know, yeah. but you can't help it. For sure. In a world where there are many other artists who are trying to break through at the yeah. same time. Mm. Mm. Hey, man, compare yeah. for a minute mm. and say, so and so way is he? I don't know. Mm. So and so way is he? I don't know. And you genuinely, it's not like they don't, they're not doing anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but they're no longer in the forefront of entertainment. You are on radio right now for mm. three hours. You... We saw you on TV every day or every weekend, at least uh, for so long. And you're still playing in the game. You haven't left as far as we're concerned. You, it's one of those houses that you own, but you haven't been to for a while. Yeah, for sure. And, yeah, yeah, and yeah, you still yeah, have yeah, the key. Yeah. And nobody sleeps there. Yeah, I'm still pivoting, I guess. You know what I mean? Where yes. you went from being... LeBron James to being the coach. You know what I mean? To being the franchise owner, to being, you know, but either way, you, you stay in the game. And I think that's all that's happened. I think the next pivot just makes it seem as though 
there's been an abandoning of ship. When truth is, you're now just sitting in the control tower. <laughs> True, and nobody sees you. You're not playing. <laughs> exactly. So you didn't score the goal. No, I may not have scored the goal. You know what I mean? But you were there. There you go. But you were there. Because you often feel like you abandoned the game because of how you're made to feel. But by, by you understanding the pivot... You didn't leave, man. And I'm so it's grateful. Still your Thank house. you for saying that. Yeah. And, and that's why some people expect one day yeah. They'll see you driving in mm. and, and hanging out for two days. So because they still know it's your it's your crib. It's your crib. But Dave, uh, interesting. And and I know that the the, the concept of 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 dates mm. will mean very little to a platform like this. Okay, uh, let's hear it. But at at the time of recording this, yeah. yesterday mm -hmm. would have marked 19 years to the day of releasing my debut album, that's March a, 4th. That's a... Didn't you have a song? Yeah, in one of the lyrics. In, in, yeah, in, in a Microphone Sweet Home. Yeah, you see how I remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't remember it's that. It's no coincidence that my album's dropping on March, March 4th. 4th. <laughs> you know? I shouldn't remember that. <laughs> and I, I'm mentioning this because what did enter my brain as as a fun fleeting thought mm. was come 20 years dot 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 <laughs> I'll, I'll produce it for you man I'll produce the show for you uh, you know what I mean gladly just as a, a man a passing thought just to and, say and, I wonder wait yeah <laughs> you see you see you see this is what you'll be doing yeah. in that big book mm. you'll be adding another page much later or just coming to add an exclamation to the first page. There you you go. got what I mean? Where there you go. You're, you're not adding, removing anything, any yeah. new information. There's an extra. Yeah, but you just come in to give that canabarin uh, mm. satisfy. Or to satisfy. Because really what it is, is what ever happened? You know, when you're reading it. Yeah, yeah. And then he left. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Then receive. we continue reading yeah. Naruko Pan Lebo, Kaspar Lebo, Nasty C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you know what happens when you're watching a movie and, yeah. and, a, and a cup fell? Mm. You continue to wonder, man, did they clean that? Did they ever come <laughs> around to that? Yeah. 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 So, so now you're saying, well, here it is. Here's yeah. the thing that you, you wondered about. Yeah. Let me tell you, then so I conclude this part of this chat. We loved your music. We loved everything you did in the music. And there's a lot of people who are going to watch this and say, man, I'm glad they spoke a lot about that. Yeah. Because you've done many interviews. Sure. But nothing as extensive no, about music never. as you've no. done here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and no, no. This, see, this, even while I was an active musician, this is the most in-depth <laughs> music conversation I've had. Yeah. About your career yeah, in music. Yeah. And because in a lot of ways, it gave us proverbs. Sure. You'd be still mixing station IDs. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. It gave us... And, and thank you, Dave, man, for creating a, a space where we can really yeah. go in. Delve. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. <laughs> so you know what I mean? We love it. Yeah. We appreciate it. All those sure. microphones sit home. All Ish. those songs. Yes, we sir. remember them. We enjoyed them. Idols. And I did too. Idols. Yeah. How did that come about? So uh, I was uh, without work. Uh, in in two thousand and nine. Okay, yes, I had ten just, years. I had just left Metro FM. Okay, where I was a, a content producer for the for, Drive Show, yes. but I also did. And you and I used to meet yeah, in the we corridors. Were in corridors all the time. Yeah, and yeah. I was doing the graveyard slot. Oh yes, of course. Yeah, but I was now no longer doing that. Then I went on to Survivor, where I was playing for a charity in Kimberley. And then coming off Survivor, after sort of building a relationship with the good folks at the channel, mm. uh, I then caught wind of the fact that they were doing, holding auditions for South African Idols. The, the host. Exactly. Yeah. I went and auditioned together with a few other people. Um, and I was lucky enough to come out tops on that day. Yeah. And I landed what was to be my best TV career. Jeez, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't get bigger. Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> that, that changed my life, honestly. Yeah. That measurably changed my life. Yeah, had you done uh, TV presenting before? Yes. Remember, I started on Channel O in 2003. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yes, of course. So I had uh, ample TV experience. Um, it had all been skewed to hip-hop, but this was probably the biggest uh, mainstream show 
that I got the opportunity to have a go at. And to and I'm so glad I did. Did you understand the size of of the gig at the time? No. <laughs> and I remember one of the um, one of the producers saying it's going to change your life, and I kind of didn't think much of the statement at the time. I was just happy to have work, to have a job. Were you were you um, out of work for a while? Not for a while. I I want to believe it was maybe a period of a year where I was kind of in between. That's a that's a big yeah. that's a long time. Yeah, you know. So I was just grateful to have work, mm. to have a little bit of an income. Um, but I I didn't realize at the time how significant this would be in my life. I kind of knew the magnitude of the show. The American version. Of course, yeah. And yeah. the UK version, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but what an impact it would have on my life. Um, what it would do for my personal development yeah. um, was truly immeasurable, man. And I'm, I'm, I'm really, really grateful for that gig. And mind you, I saw it till the very, very end, till the very last season. <laughs> you, you were the first to say a word and probably the last to say a word. For sure. Well, so so the first season started in was was in season six. Mm. I came in from season eleven. Who was who was doing it before? So before me, the immediate before me was Liesel van der Vestesen. Oh yes, cheese man, you did it for long. You even, I did it for long. You we, we I forgot. would have to take you through the, the yeah the <laughs> timeline. Forgot. Yes, then both Sammy Sabiti yeah. were in those wow. beginnings. Um, I remember. But that. Colin Moss was before Liesel van der Vestesen. Um, so it, there were like a few mm. Penny No Penny Libano Was one of the judges At some point But you know There was a whole generation Before me But by the time I came on I, I took it till The very last season Here's an interesting thing Though that one to 14 acknowledge 14 seasons mind you I was about to say When others came and left Yeah You Including judges Held the realm <laughs> and I and I got to co-own the production company, That's which I thing. still do. Yes, yeah. That's what probably stands out about it. Yeah. How did that even come about? You came in as a presenter. Suddenly, I did. You're one I of did, the yeah. one of the bosses. Look, that was uh, a proximity fortune. Yes, yes, right place, right time. Right place, right time. In that, I discovered that there was a need, um, and there was an opportunity, mm. and because I was close enough to hear about it, I was able to capitalize on it. See, can yeah, I... Yeah, to say, yeah, can, you know, can I, you know what I mean? You know, you raise your hand. Put my hand yeah, up. Yeah, say again. Yes, and so I was able to then take advantage of the opportunity, then join the production yeah. element of it as well. Were you not overwhelmed by this huge production now that you're just not yeah. the guy yeah. that stands in front of the camera and read an auto cue? Now you're, you're part of this thing. For sure. Look, I was able to compartmentalize, but where the pressure came was when it was perceived that anything that happens is, you know, you're a, you're a part of. So, for instance, if a winner mm. or a former winner doesn't go on to enjoy the success that we had hoped, true. who do they then look at? Look back. They say, it's the show. Who in their mind is the show? Me. <laughs> so I I find that it 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 came with a, a responsibility that was greater than what it actually was because yeah. now you're the you're the face of it. The credits say that you are co-executive when producer. They, when we see, so, we see. meaning okay, we know our season. Mm, okay, Musa. Hi kids, na kids, yeah. Me, I gave you a recording deal. <laughs> I gave you your money. I gave you your winnings. The sponsors threw all their prizes at you. Now you need to run with it. Mm. I can't come and hold your hand also on top of it. So I, I found myself being responsible for people's livelihoods as far as it was understood. <laughs> how, how did that? How did you? How do you experience that? And yeah. really, the question is: Who came to you and said, "Kanti"? My career is taggy. Has anyone done that? No, because I think they understand. Oh, yes. It's it's us. Yeah, the they viewers. understand that that's not how it works. It's us. At you home. know, um, we are supposed to build this brand and give it all the tools to thrive. You still ultimately need to fly. Because any other path, you would know this probably better yes. than anyone. Yeah. It's very different. Exactly. You are San million bucks. You don't get an immediate record deal. You know, we follow a different career path. Yeah. You know, you get the the cheat code. Pretty much. You know, you, and, and yeah. you're allowed. And you're allowed. That's the nature <laughs> of the beast. Yeah. You know, um, but but Dave, there was always an unpopular view I had. Okay. Which nobody was ever really willing to entertain. <laughs> and that is 
the the same people who ask, being the viewers, mm -hmm. never wanted to explore their responsibility. In this <laughs> which whole which thing. is which is who who made this artist? Who chose them? Mm, who voted? Who voted? Mm. Right. So when they release, launch, whatever, and you don't go buy it, mm. you can't come back to me. <laughs> So you think you? people didn't quite get that? No, no, <laughs> because it's uh, it's it's not a combo you like to hear. Of course, we but don't want you, we don't want a finger pointing at us. No, but if you say it's it's a three legged table, right? It's mm. it's we produce the talent. Yeah. This is the physical product. You need to support it. Now, if you don't support Where it, you can you? keep asking why. Mm. When we did our part, I I gave them the million bucks. They recorded a CD and released it. Complete it. What? Buy it. Where are you? <laughs> Idols didn't support the you, artist. You see what? No. Did that, did that perspective ever uh, gain traction? It is a widely held view mm. that uh, that winners go on and disappear. Yeah. You know. Um, and look, we, we've had plenty who've gone on to enjoy success. But there's also many more who haven't. Mm. So uh, it's warranted that view. But how we arrived at that point, that was never fully discussed. True. We left it at, at the at, door. Ah, by the guy. Mm. When no one ever said, how come though? Did they, did they release? Did they? You're like, yes. But did you buy it? Yeah. Did you buy? Ah, pro, why are you asking such questions? You know, I yeah. like it when when they. It's ask. like anything, really, dog. It's like we could have the greatest production here, mm. dopest cameras, and dopest everything. whatever, dopest yeah. guests, dopest. And then they water. don't watch. If it. you don't watch it, okay, sir. Ah, but if illegal, you're struggling. Yeah, okay, okay man. Yeah, man, I want support. Yeah. So, anyway, same story as my music career, by the way. But <laughs> it's exactly. Let's the same. not go in circles. Yes. Yeah. It, but but now being in the production of the show, this is a big show. I remember when yeah. I was shooting one of the telecom episodes at State Theatre. Yeah. You guys were also shooting at the other hall. Yeah. And I was at the, the uh, I'll call it the big one. There was yeah. another one yes. on the other side. I forgot the name of that, of that, of that venue. And and every time I would go there, it's like, my God, I wish I had all these lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. wish I had all these. It's a big show. It's a big, massive production, man. And um, part of my my deliverables mm. uh, as custodian of production was on the quality. So, you know, we always ensure to never sort of spare, cut any kind of corners when it comes to the production. Yeah. Also, because it was a board format, um, you know, we were also responsible to to the owners of the IP True. to be consistent with the other territories. And on many occasions, we were applauded for not only being able to maintain the standard, but to exceed it even. What? And that's why we ran as long as we did. Mm. And we, other than the US, you know, we beat a lot of the other territories, if not all of them. If I, if I think for, of it. For keeping it going. For keeping it going. And also for the quality and standard that we had reached. So, yeah. uh, you know, SA Idols really, really did, um, did for the industry, you know, um, in, in, a, in a great way. And it, I was privileged to be a part of it. The COVID season. Yes. Was that a tricky season? Shoot. It was a very tricky season. I think that was tricky to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, we couldn't hold the open auditions anymore. Oh, yeah. We had you to couldn't then, have those long queues. We couldn't have the long queues. We then had to do it online. Um, as opposed to going to all the regions, we had to then fly everybody in sure. uh, and just kind of rework the format. But not at a single point did we drop in standard, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and we were still able to maintain. We had to rework it, the live shows. Jeez. We had, I remember you know, the we lights in the chairs. Yeah. We, yes. we had to kind of rework it so that it visually it remains, you know, consistent from a standard that we had set and gotten accustomed to. Yeah. Um, and we never dropped in that part of it. Um, obviously, we couldn't have a live audience or not one as big. It was just family members. Mm. And we still had to bus everybody in and separate just, them yeah rework know, the whole yes. situation but ah we were able to pull it off i think of 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 uh, idols and i remember some of the people yeah i remember one of the moments that stands out i i will not remember the name but it was it he's, he's now does uh, shows on youtube with the wife and he plays the piano I know, as well. I know exactly who you're talking about um, they do podcasts and so brandon praise yes 
I remember that episode yeah. because of my niece. Mm. She cried when he didn't win. Yeah. Because he came second. Yeah. And and I remember in that moment, it dawned on me, yes, because it's, he had been doing that show for so long. Mm. It dawned on me that this is a big deal to a lot of people that are just watching it. Yeah. It matters that much. Yes. That, she cried so hard mm -hmm. that her favorite didn't win. Yeah. Did you guys realize the impact that it had in society in general? Yeah, I definitely did. Um, you know, when I when I started seeing how we were physically changing lives, mm -hmm. not not just careers, but lives. You know, when when you heard there was one particular story that moved me, that gave me that perspective, mm -hmm. was when younger one. Okay. She was our younger student. Um, she had to leave school for a period to come and finish the show and so on. And when she came back as an as an alumni now, yes. and uh, knowing where she came from and shared with us that she since bought a home for herself and a family and all that, it reminded me that we're not just making entertainers. Mm -mm. We're changing physical lives. Yeah. You know, and when I see them now, so some of these artists who came from the show, just how they move, how they speak, how they do interviews, how they make appearances, you remember how they feature. I know the before. Yeah. And then I kind of just see how how their lives have turned as a result of being on the show. It it makes me proud to have been a part of that 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 transformation. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's a I think it was a big deal. It made I think the news. It's a big deal. It made the yeah. news and yeah. the votes. Yeah. Let's talk about the black vote. Oh yes. There was a shift mm. in the vote. For sure. Take me to that moment. Yeah. If you were still a part, you were still I was, a part, I was of, a part it. of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What was that shift in your yeah. from your perspective? Sure. So for, for this one, I, I have to credit the, the channel. Mm. I think the channel had realized that the the demographic was one and they were very keen on shifting it a little bit. So yeah. they made an executive decision to put it on Mzansi Magic. Mm -hmm. It was on Mnet before. Yeah. Um, and so for a period of uh, two seasons, if memory serves correct, uh, we were simulcasting on both Mnet and Mzansi Magic. And so what was happening as a consequence was the Mzansi audience was growing and developing. <laughs> and, and they were voting because they, they were now part of this. And I remember there was a very significant moment where we had, uh, there was a, a, a black talent who was a finalist. Mm. And so it almost just became a part of the historical significance, you know, for a shift to happen. Mm -hmm. And I believe the viewers recognized this and so made it so. Even the participants must have noticed. It, Do look, you think it, they it did? was always it was always um, a, a sort of unspoken, mm. uh, you, you you know, narrative. Were you guys not talking about it in, in meetings <sighs> that we're seeing this? So I think the channel was a lot more concerned with it. We were just worried about the authenticity of the show. So so as not to influence it in any particular direction. True, true. You know, because you don't want to compromise the integrity of the show. Uh, but I think I think it was a, a unspoken desire of the viewer in public to kind of see a little bit of a better balance and a better representation. And so Kayam Tetra became the face, the face of, of the... that of that revolution. We remember that. Yeah. We even remember the cut on his face. Yes. We, we remember all of that. Because yeah. it was a moment. It was a big moment. It was almost a, a reflection also of the politics. Of, For sure. Of the of dynamics the of the and country. All that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was symbolic. Absolutely. <laughs> that, that There's a shift. Yeah. There's a, yeah. We, the blacks are here. Yeah. But but that was not manufactured. No. I, it couldn't I, have been. No. I, I, the, I think we were all on board you know, with what what needed to be done, and it happened organically. Was there any form of resistance anywhere that said this thing was fine? Dideng was 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 fine. Was, yeah, now, yeah. now what happened? <laughs> no, I, I I don't. I think it was a natural they evolution. Took it from us. <laughs> no, I think it was a natural evolution. Um, I mean, without reducing it to to politics or race, but. Where where the majority is, so the voice will be. And it's a it's a democratic you know, vote. It's a democratic vote, man. So I think it was only a matter of time. Yeah. For me, it's it was an inevitable 
you know, shift. An, an inevitability. Yeah. yeah, it was an inevitable shift, man. It was always going to go that way. And it never stopped. And it never swung any other way. <laughs> yeah, stayed. once it swung this side. It was gone. I then it stayed this way. Jeez. Yeah. I mean, there were obviously one or two anomalies. No, it's life. You get what I mean? Yeah. But and, and South Africans, we are as much as we are we we the country was divided. Yeah. Po- yeah. Politically and deliberately. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but there's something about us black people, mm. how Hi, Lumton, we are, we are cooler, man. Yeah, yes, yes. But he's white. Okay, this person sings well. Yeah. Do you get what there's I mean? A, yeah, there's a point where we get past... The race. Those, yeah. It's not, it's not, a, it's not a, a black vote. Yeah. It's a talent, talent vote. vote. It's a talent vote. But I will also add this. An observation I made well in is that beyond talent, mm. likability was also like a determining factor because there were many who were most talented mm-hmm. but were beaten by likability. Likability. You had to appeal. You had to have a, a, a appeal. I remember a circumstance, and uh, I, and I hope I'm not taking a chance by mentioning the story, where we had a contestant who was well-liked, mm-hmm. was on course to win this thing. Mm-hmm. Then during one of the inserts, there was a circumstance that almost uh, revealed a personality flaw Ooh. or so it was perceived. Exactly. And because it, it happened in the, in the moment. In the moment. Yes. And overnight. What? Fell out of favor. What is it saying to you though? It's, it's saying to me beyond... And it's a, it's a philosophy we know, I think. It's a life thing. It's yes. a philosophy we know. I yes. think we know this. I yes. think we know this, but yes. Dave. Yes. But, but beyond being good at something, being, being likable yeah. counts for just as much, if not more. Particularly if you're in a public platform. Particularly. Particularly yeah. so. Because how many do you know are very talented? But because you're a nightmare. Hey. And they call you a... Prima donna. Prima donna, yeah. The inverse, <laughs> we are the inverse is also true. True. Where you can be moderately, ta- you know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> You're you, just okay. You're moderately talented. Yeah. Mar Mar is gonna come on time. He's gonna be pleasant. He's gonna get along with everyone. Yeah. He's tech writer. We can, we can tell he's here. You, yeah, there's, exactly. There's, there's an energy you, shift. And then he then enjoys a, a hundred year career. That's so. So true. there's a lesson to be learned there. A big lesson. There's a lesson to be learned there. So I learned that seeing, observing that. That this kid, (laughs) if it was talent only. If it was talent only. They would have won. Clean sweep. Hmm. Clean sweep. Says a lot about a lot of careers. You know, I I would tell you what happened, but it, you, it, we'll all like guess who it is. And and I'm not bashing them. Mm, mm. It's up to you if you want to say it. You don't have to. Well, I think let me not. Let me not, but Dave. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. You know my commitment on this channel. For sure. Yeah, it's a yes, sir. Integrity. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Indeed. Yeah, but 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 I for me, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because life is like that. Yeah, that's throughout. Yeah, life it's, is like it's, that. It's like that. Oh, Shayla. It's like that. Oh, yes. It's the yeah. What do you know? Whatever. That's what it is, man. T- Telling is one thing. Having the goods, the knowledge, the experience is one thing. But are you like a pleasant person, man? Mm, do we like you? Do we like you? Yeah. Do we like you? Because w- we would work with somebody you like 100 times over somebody who can do the job better, <laughs> yeah. but it's unpleasant. I know. With the, the kind of work we've done here at this office, I know designers that I would never work with. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. But I know that. Yeah. Talent. You are... St- Easily the best, if not. Dude, I would pay double. But I wouldn't give you my money. Because <laughs> I have to deal with everything else. You see what I mean? That's it. That's 100%. You will yeah. be late. Yeah. Yes. That's a life lesson. Wow, oh, man. Yeah. Jeez, there I didn't go. know idols gave us that. There you go. Because for me, that if you say there was a moment when people were watching. Yeah. And they were holding their phones. Yeah. Ready to vote. And that moment happened. Yeah. And it's there. Maybe Immediately. Mar- yeah. Because I had a chat and and by no means am I because she was a, a good buddy of mine. Mm. And towards, you know, uh, there was a moment in her life, Zahara, yeah. Yeah. Uh, where uh, she needed 
some help and I was there to help out right. with the house thing. For sure. And uh, I realized that after she passed on, mm. the perspective of her music changed. Mm. The same songs sure. that she had performed years before, mm. people were saying now, hmm, sounds nice now. Yeah. You get that. Because we, we subconsciously, you you mm, travel mm, with mm, your mm, sins mm. Sure. in all spaces you go to and and whatever her sins may have been uh, that we have created because the media also controls how we see you. yeah for sure uh, whatever her sins may have been once she passed on people removed those sins yeah and started seeing that's it. and 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 the perspective was very different yeah. and I remember thinking wow man that's that's a shame yeah. but what it says also is yeah. Is exactly that yeah. that split moment yeah. where people say, "But, yeah, hi." And yeah, we won't separate. It's all part, part and parcel. It's a package deal. You can't say I'm this only. Yeah, yeah. You, you can't say that's why. Whew. You know, Tough for, life. for instance, some of the personalities who have now been imprisoned because of their life choices, it's a similar thing mm -hmm. where none of us ever denied that no. they were an exceptional creative. Absolutely. You know, but now this you troubles listen with to you. it a little bit differently because now you've learned that, hey, but the person behind it is questionable. It travels with it you. It travels with Whether you. Whether you're man. Michael Jackson, you're R. Kelly, well, it travels with there you. There you go. I was trying to be diplomatic and not mention yeah. names on Abu Dave, but there yeah, you go. In America. <laughs> <laughs> in America. For sure. Jeez, man. What led to the end? Of idols. No, that was a channel. That was a decision above my. But was it a a, a, a a audience interest? Look, it can be argued that the numbers weren't the same as before. Okay. Um, but I think there were also like economic factors that were beyond our control. So mm -hmm. for starters, um, you know, the season is obviously bought in pounds. It's a, it's okay. a UK product yeah. owned yeah. by a company called Fremantle. Those rates don't remain the same specifically. Yeah. And the dollar ran. The dollar ran and crazy. all that. And or the pound ran in this case. It's 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I want to believe all those sort of economic decisions... Um, contributed, mm. but otherwise the executive decision was made above above yes, my payroll. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were told ahead of time that. So how it works, if I may, just take a step mm, back, mm. is the the channel uh, secures the license, okay. then commissions a production company to See, produce, and that, that's it. the level I'm at. Yes. Not not so much here. That's way above me. Ah. And so, so it gets to you after it's bought. After it's bought, yeah, mm. we're not part of the buying the securing. So what I've come to know and learn is that it's bought in packages of three. So you have to buy three seasons at a time. Wow. Look at that deal. And so, <laughs> From free metal. Yes. So <laughs> now we were on the third of the last three. So it was a decision that so to be made. Th this is, yeah. So I, I believe mm. they made an executive decision influenced by facts I wouldn't know because I'm not at that point. Yes. Um, so we knew that the end was coming. Be because you had the three and it was the last three. We knew it was the last three of the current yeah. package. Yeah. Have you enjoyed the ride? <sighs> Man, that platform changed my life. And I was part of something that changed the lives of many. And um, that's like, that's probably the one gig I'm... I'm like most grateful for. I, I I grew in that time. I developed as as a person, mm. um, as a talent. Understanding the the industry, understanding my role, my contribution, my potential, what I'm able to then do. Uh, it expanded how I think about the world of entertainment, but the, you know, um, the world at large, mm. really, and how you can use your influence to impact many. And so for me, for me, SA Idols became the formula with which I approach a lot of things yeah. to say, how can you be a part of something that seeks to empower others? So a lot of the, the moves and strategic decisions I make, the business models that I try and follow uh, are all in the hopes of empowering not only myself, but others in the process as well. Yeah. And that's kind of, 
you saw a that. roadmap yeah. that I was able to replicate from a show like like Idol. So that, it changed my life in many ways. I guess it's 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 used noticing that it's not only about you here. Yeah, it's about the collective. Yeah, it's in fact it's not about me at all. The yeah. first piece of advice <laughs> when I got the gig was from uh, Gareth Cliff, mm. who said. Oh, he was one of the judges. Yes. yes. So when I got the gig, he was already there. Mm. And he said to me on a flight back from one of the auditions, just remember it's not about you. Yeah. And in the moment, but Dave, <laughs> I didn't like that. Of course. What a what, what do you mean? I'm, the, I'm you, the host of the show. Why would you you know what I mean? That's I don't like that. Why would you say that? But I have grown into understanding that perspective. Yeah. That is And indeed it was not about you. And, and nothing is about you. We are in service. When you broke us, when you behind the mic, this this avenue, even though it's got your name, yeah, it's not about you, but Dave. Trust me, I'm, I'm, I, I, I remember that every time when I read the comments. <laughs> it's well, not well, about me. For sure. We, yes. are, we are in service, you know. Yeah. And, and that show gave me that perspective. You signed up for it. If you don't, yeah. if you want it to be about you, yeah. go do something else. Yeah, yeah. Then, yeah, then go do a, a show about you for you, or, or you know what I mean. Um, and call but, it the me show. No, exactly. <laughs> but you in you in service of the collective, of the team, of the viewer, of the talent. You 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 in you in service, man. Yeah. You know, and and when the show thrives, when the talent thrives, uh, you get fulfilled. Is it deliberate the type of judges you choose? Oh, so I need to I need to make it clear that <laughs> yeah. I, that's also not a decision I make. So ah. we are all employed by the channel. Oh yes. Oh, so they in my presenter capacity, mm -hmm. my contract was with the channel. What? So so not with the production company. No, hmm. no, I co-own the production company. But so the production elements, the camera, know, the lights. Yeah. Yes, you involved. Yes, but who is sitting there and all that? The, the, those were not my decisions. And wow. I feel like that needs to be known. That's because whenever there were changes... We think you are part of the meeting. It was always like, ah, Feb, you, why are you removing? Why are you adding? Why what are you... about Maralo? <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. So so please let it be known. Wow. Thank you for asking. We didn't know that. No, no, no. Let it be known. I was not a part of those decisions. As far as the, the judges and me... And the host. Had the, ...had the same contract with the channel. Wow. Yeah, I was... And so your paycheck contracted. Your paycheck had multi choice. The presenter one. Yes. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The producer one. It's different because uh -huh. you spani. It's my production company now. Exactly. Yes. What other shows have you have, have you been involved with? Yeah. With the production. Well, company? at the time we did uh, Miss Sa. We had an original concept called uh, Wedding Bashes. Mm. Um, there was a, a UFC concept that was done uh, on the SABC. Yeah. Um, and also we had a stint uh, in Nigeria doing Idols Nigeria. Pretty decent and because For those sure. are big shows. For sure. So you know what I mean. A six sick entertainment, which is still active as a production company, um, yeah, has had yeah. a, a very cool bouquet of, 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 of productions. Stars. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And and now as a producer, that changes because this is not something that you knew would ever happen in your life. No, I I had no idea that I would have the kind of exposure that I've had, the vantage point from which to now view everything, uh, being from a production point of view, and also getting an opportunity to learn from great people. Who's there to hold game. your hand? Oh man, this guy, Gavin Ratten, is my business partner. Yeah. Mad scientist of note. Uh, incredible talent, eye, mind, his sort of ideas, mm. but also just being able to to nurture talent uh, and I'm talking both from a production point of view but also the, the literal talent as well whose career do you look at and this is this is one of those moments where I asked you which one is your favorite song in your album oh yeah it's a tricky one I know yeah which, which who's, who's music career from winners and non-winners yeah do you look back and say I did that and, and we're not not taking credit but yeah. being proud no, no I take oh, I take full credit <laughs> no 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 <laughs> <laughs> I, I always uh, joke whenever I see them because invariably, because I do a lot of corporate work, mm. they would be the performing artist and the act and the this and the that and the that. And I always joke with them. Mm. But but in the joking, there's a significant uh, symbolism here. Yeah. And I always say, my son. <laughs> yes. Because I feel a fatherly responsibility mm. to having seen them come through 
this process and platform and gone on and continue to go on. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Like, for instance, when I see like a Kaya talking about doing productions on movies mm-hmm. and uh, having a thriving career, I think... Hey, man. I follow a lot of these guys. Bo Matema, when I see her putting out albums, uh, headlining big gospel shows and the like, yeah. I think... Well done. When I see, you know what I mean? Like all, all of the names, man. When I see them working on cruise ships, uh, buying houses, you know, uh, Musa happens to stay close to me. So I see him a lot yeah. when he had that number one banger. Dude. Um, oh my gosh. We're still number one. We still love that song. Do you know what I'm saying? It's still a, you played at, at Sunday, Sunday Soul Do Session. Do you know what I mean? People sing so, along. When I see him at a different table at a breakfast, because often we at the same <laughs> breakfast spot, we don't talk much, but there's like a, mm, there's see. like a, I see, Donak, <laughs> I see you, man. So yeah. I, I'm I'm often filled with with pride, man, because I really feel like we made significant changes to the industry, yeah. but to lives as well. I love South Africa. Yeah, well, like we enjoyed it, right? We en- I enjoyed it, it, man. Was it sad for you? The last moment of it? I don't think so. I think I think I had spent... All right, let me qualify this quickly. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> every year, every season, mm. we were always crossing fingers that there'll be another season. As we... From the time I started. Yeah. So it was always in my mind that... One day. The end is nigh. Yeah. And the fact that I can look back and say, 14 years I did it. <laughs> it's quite long. But it also means for 14 years I was prepared for the end. So by the time it came, you know, I really feel like certainly I had made the best contribution that I possibly can. Anything beyond this and me being ungrateful it seems a little selfish. Mm. You got, 14 uh, you got 14. You put your kids through school. You you understand? Yeah. I, as I say, I have been empowered in so many ways. Mm. So when I asked, can I can I drop the mic? Like mm. li- literally. Mm. Can, is, it, is it okay? Can I can I can I drop the mic? <laughs> and I was granted the go ahead. It was so symbolic. And I didn't. Drop it like this to symbolize it falling out of my hand. Mm -hmm. I threw it up to symbolize the victory and fulfillment with which I leave the stage. Got you. It's a toss. It's a toss as opposed to a drop. And I threw it. And before it started making its way down, I turned and I had cleared the stage by the time it fell. And that for me was symbolic. So by the time I exited the stage, the mic was still in the air. Amazing. You know, just the symbolism. Maybe, 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 maybe I'm overly sentimental. No, no. I don't know. <laughs> but I think I think I think anyone is 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 given permission to be sentimental about a moment For like sure. that. There you go, yeah. Jeez, man. Yeah. It was a yes, cause you became a professional on the stage. Ah, uh, thank TV you, but Damon, guy. Yeah. And a lot happened during that particular show. Then there was a load shedding situation. Our generator gave in. And I think one of the auto cue screens was running off a generator. So for half of the show, I'm just ad-libbing and standing there and making it up as we go. But that that was so meaningful in in a twisted way, you know, because I was like, you know, all, all the forces and the 14 years had amounted to today. And I couldn't have been more prepared and nothing, no external force was going to rob me of... Not at all, eh? Of this day. You get what I mean? So, <laughs> to bring all this experience no, yeah, to so one all moment. all this experience. As a matter of fact, I, I, I even found myself getting excited by... <laughs> every time something would go wrong. Because now you think, how are you going to solve it? How are you going to come out of this? What are you going to say? Mm, what are you going to do? Mm, no, Parajit is gone. It's, you know How are you I mean? going to land? How are you going to... Exactly. <laughs> and then I would wait for my countdown. Three, two, one. And I would look up and boy, the 14 years had come to this. <laughs> you know? You got to love it. Man. And I don't know. I, I, I enjoyed it, man. No, you did. Yeah, you, I did. Something changed about, about your look as well. Yeah. Because I remember oh. the, the Chubby <laughs> program. 
<laughs> Everybody remembers the chubby yeah, proverb, right? Do you sure. remember I, it? Of course. How could I not? Yeah. T- tell us about that moment. Yeah. The, the, the shift. What yeah. was it? What was going on? There is the diplomatic answer that I tell. Okay. <laughs> Let's hear if you'll tell the same answer today. Then there's the truth of the matter. Mm. I hope you'll tell and, the truth. And I... And I I I protected this version of the story because I was still sort of in the system. Mm -hmm. And now it's probably safer too because there should be no ramifications. Okay. What planted it in my mind to start being a little more conscious and aware of my physical appearance and health Mm -hmm. was when I was in a production meeting. Doing this very show. Yeah. Okay. And just allow me to preface by saying said exec is no longer there. Okay. Okay. Just, just, Mm. just so that it's, it's somebody Googles. Yeah. Just so that it's not (laughs) plugging back. And, uh, an exec said, channel exec said, you're fat. True. And you know what? It's, it's a sexy, young, cool, vibey show. And I think we may need to consider looking at a different presenter, perhaps even a female, um, you know, and obviously they started throwing some names. Maybe this, maybe that, maybe this person, maybe this person, mind you. You're working as production. I'm there in my capacity as production. Yeah. We're discussing the host who happens to be me too. <laughs> Such a tricky space. It's such a tricky space. Yeah. And I'm just taking the stuff. And I think what, what made it hurt was not what was being said. It was the it was the how and the where, uh, and the fact that it was true. Mm. When you looked at yourself, you thought I knew that. Yeah, I I knew it. He she is not lying. We all knew it. Yeah, but it was the brutality of the delivery, <sighs> which was you know you 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 fat man. You just not fit in the mold. It's just not the vibe and the image we're trying to sort of look and whatever. So we need to get a new guy. Fortunately, everyone else in attendance was like, no, he's the right person. He's the whatever. But yeah, maybe hmm. maybe you could work on this thing. Work on this thing and this, that, and the other. And man, I, I, I took such a shot to sure. my, my self-esteem, you know, my, my, my self-worth, self-image. And you know, when you had known it, because even the stylist uh, was battling to style me accordingly mm. and what 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 So it's not like it was an unknown it was an unspoken... It was unspoken, but it had just been mm. slapped across the face, you know. Um, man, and so Jeez. with this newfound self-consciousness, unhappiness, uh, I then actively set out to change that. And you did. You know... Um, was it a difficult journey? Well, look, it, it was maybe... The, the the light was lit by this conversation. Mm. But I think the unhappiness was, was in existence already. Okay. And so it no longer became about my role. It, it became for myself. Mm. Mm. Then for myself, uh, I then made, it, made a decision to... It's similar to when your mom said, this is the last chance. Yeah. If... You don't do anything about it. There's nothing we can do. Yeah. Yeah. That that probably lit the fire that remains ablaze today, now fueled by personal aspirations. So it's the same kind of, I suppose, you Mm, know, yeah, it's mm, parallel. Yes. In that, had that not happened, I may not have introspected to the point where for myself, yeah. I would then opt to. And, you know, I, I've, I've kind of tried to maintain still. I obviously, it's, it, it, I have like a limit of where I can't ever get past <laughs> back to, you know what I mean? Yes. So I, I try and play, I play here. I play before that space, yeah. People live their whole life yeah. trying to change mm. their bodies. It's, it's one of those yeah. things that, we want the results, but we don't want to put in the work. Yeah. It's, it's, it belongs in that group of stuff. We want the billion, but we don't want to put in the work. Yeah, for sure. Uh, how did you pull it off? So the beginning was an obsessive phase. Mm. You know that operating from being wounded. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I want to do it. There, man, I remember I had, I had two trainers. I had a dietitian. Sure. I had consulted this. I, I was 
I was going twice a day and all that. And there was a, a, a very obsessive, but also unsustainable period mm. where I tried to do a lot in a, in a short space of time. Um, you were lost 80 pounds yes, in 10 in days. Yes, in 10 days yeah. or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> and so I did that for a, for a period and then I realized that it was not sustainable. Then instead of trying to find quick fixes, I then decided to make lifestyle changes. Were you seeing the results in that I was. desperate Desperate I was. speed up, let's do it quickly. I was. But it was also just not sustainable, mm. though. It would... You know? And I remember there was one job I had at the time. I was doing the early breakfast show Jeez. at 947. Mm. So I was on from six, from four to six in the morning. That's... So I was able to go consistently to gym after that. Oh, yeah. Yes. Then when I was no longer doing that show, because I was now no longer now you in Santon. <laughs> Uh, at that time, I, I remember I couldn't quite get that rhythm back and all that. Then I just decided to rework it. But also after realizing what was working for me, and that was my relationship with food. Okay. What you know, was it? What what made it work? Was just being aware of my, my portions, mm. what it is I'm eating, what I'm taking, because I have a sweet tooth on top oh, of it. No. Plus I've got youngsters. And when they say we're eating takeout, mm. we're eating takeout. McD. Yeah, yo, I will. <laughs> so uh, once, once I learned to manage my relationship with food, all these other things just became supplementary. Yeah. You know, obviously when I start approaching that, that red number, I would then intervene with Bojim and this and that <laughs> and that and that. But the thing I do constantly is the, is the lifestyle change, which is just sort of my food and just trying to be active and just taking the stairs where there's an option to as opposed to the elevator. So you, you haven't where, changed any of that. You know, I consume as much water as I possibly can. I try and be aware of my fizzy intake. Mm. I carry sweeteners in my man bag. <laughs> so it's all these little subtle changes and all in the name of maintaining. I don't know if I'm chasing the six-pack buff <laughs> dream. Does it matter? Whatever. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I just know I'm pushing a healthy year. Yeah. And better self-image. I, I use my clothes as a unit of measurement as mm. opposed to obsessing with tapes and scales. Mm -mm. And as long as I feel comfortable, I feel healthy, yeah. that for me is good. Has it made you feel any different? Yeah, Does absolutely. Yeah. 100%. And I just, I just think I've got a better quality of of self better mm. quality of life better quality of image mm. can i say that <laughs> no you can so that means though that time you even in the back yeah. of your mind it troubled you yeah it did yeah it did and you said but what we, what was if it, it wasn't did. for that no but if i can kiss up a jacket uh, no no i can <laughs> I've started, I grow my hair. Yes. I'm a little, you know, I'm my grooming schedule mm. and routine. Yes. You got shiny nails. You understand? I'm, <laughs> you know, and, and all, all these things, it's, it's, it's been the, the sort of a domino effect, I think. The, the one feeds into the other. Yeah. You know, when, when you feel healthy, your emotions are in check. Your spirituality is in check. Your mentality is in check. Your self-image is in check. Your relationships, how you relate to people, your mood, your attitude, your vibe. So once you start seeing all of this, how it all plugs into each other, it just you you start working towards a more fulfilling, more complete life. So that horrible moment when you you, you were told you're fat, yeah, it hit you hard, but it came with just great blessing. results, yeah. A, a lot of the tragedies and traumas in my life mm. have had positive um, yeah, in outcomes. the long run. In the, the long moment, run. Was, yeah. And I ran been... into said exec uh, when he had long left, uh. um, doing something else and whatever. And he joked, you know, and said, "Ah, look at you now, man. <laughs> look, look at you now. You, you know, and still, still as insensitive as before." Yeah. <laughs> So their personality hasn't changed. No, the personality hasn't changed. <laughs> but, but I remember there was like a, a a moment of, you know, I'm glad that did happen. 
And I'm glad I got to complete the circle. Kuri, I'm glad umponi. And and I told saw. and told you the truth and saw you. Yes, after. you know. Yeah, so even though you were still a little bit of a prick about it. <laughs> I, but I was But like, I did this. I was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, maybe maybe you saying that. Maybe mm, maybe yeah, I needed right. to hear it. Maybe I needed to hear it. Maybe yeah. not as brutal. Yes, yeah, so we still we laughed about it, but yeah. I remember still thinking, ah, nothing has changed, eh? <laughs> As you will know, always be one. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, Jeez. yeah. But maybe it had to happen, right? Yes. You, yeah. Your radio career has also been interesting. Yes, sir. Because it was never the Jenny. Mm-mm. It, it was never also on a silver platter, you know. From getting in via the Adele. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How does it then uh, translate to or rather evolve to being the guy on the mic? Okay, so uh, by being working with DJ Fresh, the big dog, and my mm. time on the Fresh's Breakfast Show, I was now ignited by the magic of of radio. Mm. Now, I knew that I was not to remain uh, behind the scenes and I needed to get some of this action. Yeah, And so I tried from that period of about 2003, uh, four, five, it didn't happen. Um, and why? At Y. Yeah. yeah, six, it didn't happen. Seven, it started to happen. And this is when I now left Y. I was now at Metro FM. Okay. I was there still to be a technical oh, producer. Oh, but then you're working with Glenn. Working with Glenn Lewis and Unati. Yes. And Unati, bless her heart, had the one who put my name forward when there was assembling a team. Mm-hmm. And so Leo Mane was the one who then recruited me yeah. uh, on the recommendations of Sisunati. Uh, but I was very keen still on on air. What was what was your role? What what role? Was I was it? there as a content and technical producer. Okay. At the time, it was one thing. It was one thing, yeah. yeah. So you contenting and you're doing the jingles mm-hmm. and the promos mm-hmm. and the this and that and the other. And so, but Leo then leaves for television. Yes, he goes and becomes an exec there. Sechale <laughs> Mochozi then takes over as, is at the helm. Yes, he then hears me out. Oh, finally, there's a new guy to hear you. He then hears me out, gives me a shot. We have a training slot, mm. um, which is the graveyard Saturday, Sunday, 3 to 6 a.m. <laughs> Man, they happen to be in between presenters at the time. I'm motivating to be a part of this. <laughs> uh, I remember doing my first show, having my immediate snoop the very next Monday. <laughs> and he was like, Whoa, 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 you, you, you come, you're coming in too hot. <laughs> you cut, you, because you can imagine it had been a build up of some six, seven years <laughs> of wanting this. Mm. <laughs> so that and my rap sort of bravado, mm. false as it was, <laughs> you know, young exuberance, unnecessary, <laughs> could it too much? Too loud. And he said, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. Uh, you know, because I'm standing, you know, too much. <laughs> it's three in the morning. It's three in the morning. Yes. And so <laughs> he helped me arrive at a place of 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 comfort, of natural, of conversation, mm. of understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Calm I understand down. it. You wanted it so badly, but take the fuel yeah. the you know mm. what I mean the jet fuel out a little bit khatoloha man khat koski para para fine boss will do this why was so ya khatoloha and so he he then grew me there was a point even the graveyard slot was achieving some growth wow uh it was doing well and honestly you know i i really am grateful cuz he not only did he give me a shot mm. but he also groomed me through that process so i'm still from the school of sihale mohoti jeez man of of short links mm. of brief to the of point. time checks of throw forwards back announce new piece of information of not being self indulgent and mm. this and it's not about you, know, you. It, although that... <laughs> isn't it interesting but dave and i don't know how you see it yeah but radio has become a lot more Less of those things. Mm-hmm. It's not about the pillars and cornerstones anymore. Now it's about personality and how much me can I share and how much it's about me and how long my story can go and this, that, that, and the other. <laughs> Where I was this weekend. Yeah, exactly. Which is interesting. I'll give you perspective. Because I'm from a different school. I'll give you perspective. Yes. I'm from the same school mm-hmm. as, as Sahale yes. and all those guys. Yeah. Um, I see it. Like, we watch from a distance. Like, yeah. Hmm. Mm. Wow, things have changed. How's all this all, man? Mm, things yeah. have changed. Yeah. We yeah. see that. Yeah. And it's quite interesting to watch. 
but I'm always I'm quite op- open minded. Yes, because I think radio, like most mediums, are yeah. about the audience. Yeah, yeah. We said it many times in this conversation. It's not mm. about us. Yeah. It's about the people we serve. And and if you evolve with the people you serve, yeah. you'll be all right. You'll be fine. Yeah. That's it. But you have to know the people you serve so mm. well that you're able to to serve them all the time. And yeah. every moment of, of your interaction with them is pleasant. Mm. They never get a moment where they think, we now finally saw a flaw. See yeah. how all this conversation yeah, connects. Disconnect, yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. So, so, so I think if that the audience, I always say, maybe I don't understand the audience. Maybe I'm judging too harshly. So let me step back. Yeah. And maybe that's what thing, that's how things are done now. Yeah. But I'll tell you something. Mm, mm. Radio consumers will always consume it the same way. They want you to help them through the day. Mm. They want you to take them away from this. And if you think your life is that interesting that it's going to do that, then then serve them. Then serve, yeah, yeah. But it can't always be that interesting. Mm. It's not possible. Yeah. It can't only, your life with give or take 15 links every show Mm, mm. cannot every moment can be an Instagram picture. Yeah, yes, yeah. Not possible. Yeah, yeah. So, and that tends to be a trap every day, Mm. Monday to Friday. I, I'm going to my life. I did. Ah. This is who I. Yeah, I find that as not a, possible as as somebody who consumes radio, being a scholar of radio, I'm often at those crossroads. Mm. You know where where I'm from. I'm from a K53 driving school, and you didn't buy the license. Yes, <laughs> trying to find sp- where they meet. Or whatever. You see how they don't. Hey, and and they don't, if you use, if you use your, your analogy, <laughs> yeah. they don't at all. Yeah, we have to see them separately as For two sure. different things. Yeah, and that's why I say I'm open minded enough to say they're drifting. They're drifting, yeah, and yeah, and the people are cheering. Mm, yeah, so <laughs> it's working. <laughs> it's working. Yeah, but. Hmm. Mm, so you while I'm at the robot, Auriki spinning. You can't drift there, <laughs> can't you? <laughs> you see, you can't drift on the highway. Yeah, what yeah. are you doing? That's true. So that and 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 radio. Yeah. Even if the audience loves loves you when you drift, mm. they don't want to see you drift on the highway. Ah, uh, there you go. They're not going to cheer. Sure. But not what you, you really, you really. <laughs> I, I I'm loving how you yeah really turning the analogies into the into life lessons that I'm going to apply real time. Because that's so, exactly what it that's is. That's true. And and because I'm geez, man, I'm from the brutal school of, of radio. Right. Yeah. Where yeah. every link mattered. Yes. Every word in every link mattered. Mm, mm, How mm. you say all those crunches. Yes. Station, station ID, yeah. time check. Yeah. Um frequency if you you mention yes. it. Throw forward. Yeah. How these four things. Yes. The pillars. You, you yeah. can say them a thousand different times. Yeah. These four things. Yes. Yeah. Where you move them around. Mm. Those things. Yeah. Jeez, dude, they became so important yeah. In, yeah. in the radio that I learned. Yeah. I was mentored by Anthony Duke, who All was right. program manager for 5FM, station manager actually for 5FM when I came along. Oh, yes. Jeez, dude, I had to see that guy yeah. once a week. Yes. For a year. I was not even a presenter. I was a producer. But his role was to tell me what is it that I didn't guard against when I was producing my mm, show. What you let slip through the cracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine, yeah. imagine being being scolded for something you didn't even do. Mm. And, and but you, yeah, you didn't guard against it. You let it you let it get away. Thank you. All the time. Sure. All the time. And he was trying to make me. A super producer. Mm. I didn't realize that he was helping me to be a presenter. To be a as presenter well. in the process, giving you the tools. That's my school of radio. Sure. Yeah. All those crunches, true, they matter. Yeah, so they I, matter. I'm, I'm, it's interesting how you work for a company that has a lot of drifters. Mm. Where you work? Well, Ella, I wouldn't say no, but can I defend, defend my institution them. and say this isn't unique? To where I work. Oh, jeez. You've been elsewhere and you listen to others. Yeah, this this seems to be the evolution of, and, of the craft. And that's why I, I'm not judging it negatively. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying the crowd is cheering. Yeah, yeah. But I also, I find myself consulting a lot and saying, because, you know, 
mind you, Melanie Abala and I were calculating the other day mm. that we've been in the industry 23 years apiece. Yeah. I used, obviously started in the back and moved to the, but you know, she's been on air. My story is the same. Back but, and on air. But then you, you, you kind of find yourself appreciating that in some aspects, you're still a complete novice. Without over-laboring our analogy, where you're like, yeah, I have been driving 23 years, but I'm new to drifting. I don't know how to drift. Ew. <laughs> so, so you're still kind of completely new in the space and you're appreciating that, that because it has evolved, I can't claim that my way is... Is the right way. It's the only way. That's true. Because now... The crowd says, but he doesn't drift. Yeah, the crowd, you keep three, you keep three point ten in check and blind spot. We're not about to drift, man. You're a boring driver. You see what I mean? So those are the are, I think we exploited this, this analogy. We did to the fullest, yeah. But I, I I you know what? I must admit, I enjoy listening to, to youth radio, and I'll call it that. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I because Metro is younger than where I were. For sure. You know. So I see it that way. I was yeah. on five the other day. I had mm. to be because we were doing Radio Day, celebrating Radio Day. Yes. So I was simulcasting with Five FM, right. and and I remember thinking, "Wow, man, it's mm. so fun it's here." Such a yeah, you know, what such I mean? a different world from mine. Completely. Even Net. my even my listeners said we thought something is wrong. Yeah, I changed yeah, the yeah. channel and I find you there and I find you here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. It's like, hey, man, that's what we're doing that's, today. That's it. But that's but it. the audience and what I like about SABC is that the audience that we used to have when I was at Metro. Yeah. Are the same people that I have now at two thousand. Sure. So I like that they move with us. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and they grow with us too. But let me tell you, ne, my audience mm. will not cheer at your drifting. Mm. Not at all. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't yeah. please them. For sure. They are those old school. Yeah, but that's because they like us. We're from that era. That's it. You know, and and remember, by then you've now formed your ways and your preferences and your whatever and. Yeah, I don't have to compromise now. I know what I like. Yeah. I know who I am. Mm. You you know, so I I get that. If Kino was to call me to join Metro, I would be scared. Really? I would think, hmm, I need to learn how to drift. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. And I wouldn't know where to start. And and these ways are so engraved in, in what we do that you would find it tricky to play along. You're lucky yeah. that it's a co-presented setup, you know. No, but wait a minute, but Dave. I also I also think differently. Mm -hmm. You remember when we were from public phone era? Mm -hmm. You remember? Very well. When I was at university, that's all we used. Do you remember when cell phones were introduced? 1993-94. How awkward was that transition? There was one guy at school that had a phone. Yeah. He was the only guy. Yeah. We thought he was the most amazing. He could fly, that guy. As and, far as we were concerned, he was Superman. And now, how unfair are you with your <laughs> mobile device? Half, half. Uh, and, <laughs> so, uh, and you only say that because you know where I'm going. I know exactly where That's, you're going. So, yeah, you, you are preparing your defense. <laughs> so, I feel like Yes, we're from this era. Mm. We recognize that it's now here. We recognize that exactly. Yeah. And because we've been forced to adapt up until now, mm -hmm. it's not out of your ability to say, all right, with what I know, with what is in demand, how can I? And I think Fitness. that's why. Yeah. That's why there are guys, and I almost made it about myself, which I shouldn't, but that's why there are guys who've been able to stand in the test of time. I fully agree. Uh, that's why you've been able to stand in the test yeah, of time. Yeah, no, I've, I've, I've been around long. But you also, I mean? also, like you, I did uh, behind the scenes for a long time. Yeah. And I still feel new to being on the mic. For sure. I still do. Mm. I, was, I was in a meeting once with um, one of the prog program manager about two or three years ago. Yeah. And they were saying, yeah, no, the audience like you. And because you're still new at this, it's like, yeah, I am. Sure, that's interesting. Yes, that's, because, yeah. because, because I'm new still to new. this. Yeah, that's And it's not very new, but it's still new. Yeah. Because I've, I've done a weekend radio for about four years. Uh, and then I did uh, Mon Monday to, to Thursday mm. at night time and night time still belongs in the new yeah and, yes. then, and then suddenly boom I was 9 to 12 mornings sure so now you're new 
Like yeah, you're proper new that's now. New, yeah. You're new to to uh, to prime time. The audience is finding you new. So 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 to being on prime time, I'm five years. Yeah, it's new. It's <laughs> new, man. Right? It's and I'll new, I'll, I'll enjoy it. it for as long as yeah. I can. Yes, sir. I've just uh, uh, renewed, which is great. There you go. Do you know that? As have I. Yes, congrats. Do you know that? No, it's congratulations. It's a, it's to a you big too. thing, man. Yeah, yes. it's a yeah. big thing. Because with SABC, it's always tricky. Yeah. But you didn't only work for SABC. Mm. You you worked for Prime Media. Yeah, I did. I have jumped around a little bit. Quite a bit. Yeah. So from YFM, I went to Metro FM. Mm. Um, then from Metro FM, I went to. Uh, you were on air. I I, I started I started on air. Yes. I, I I took flight first at Metro FM. Yes. Then I went to um nine four seven, which by the way uh, was still called uh, Highfelt. Highfelt. Really? Yes. So you did a back announce and said Highfelt. I was at Highfelt Stereo, man. Wow. <laughs> uh, and I did the early breakfast show four mm. to six. Yes. That's a big deal. Um, and then before Jeremy, where kids Simpson. Okay. Okay. Was coming on after me. Yes. Then I went to Kaya. Mm -hmm. And I did uh, a weekend stint there, I Friday, remember. Saturday. Yeah. Uh, and that's then... Greg Maloka, that's Greg Maloka. That's Greg Maloka, yeah. Yeah. Then, obviously, after having left um, Kaya, mm -hmm. I quit, you know. Left? And I said, th that's it. Because... I remember the Kaya days. They were pleasant, man. <laughs> man, yeah, that 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 was probably the the show where I I grew my wings, you know, mm -hmm. and my on air confidence. And I must tell you, Siskina uh, had called me before mm -hmm. about two thousand. Oh yes, she had a few months at two thousand. <laughs> but there was a conversation at one stage. Wow, listen to that. Yes, yeah, she hung around in 2000 for a few few months. Then it went quiet. Okay. And I would now later learn there were changes to Metro FM. To her own career as yeah, well. Yeah, Jeez. yeah, yeah. Because I never stayed off of her radar. Mm. And so... It's always good when somebody... You know, really, likes what you have to offer. Really, I guess it was always meant to be, you know. Yeah. And so I got the call, call up to Metro FM. And that's where I currently... Have you enjoyed the, the radio journey? It's interesting. You realize that how with you, it's hip hop. Yeah. And it's a full story. Mm. <laughs> on its, yeah, on its own. On its own. Yeah, yeah. And then it's it's a, a, a TV. Yeah. And it's a full that's story. That's a full story on its own. <laughs> and then yeah. now look at we talking radio. Yeah. Yeah. And you still think the hip hop guy didn't make all of this. Wait. <laughs> Don't worry. You sure. know your story. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I have enjoyed it, man. It's it's a completely different in, a dynamic now. Like you say, I'm new. Mm. I'm new. You've been at it, but you're new. I'm completely new. Um, this is gonna be now my third year. At Metro. At Metro in mm. this capacity. Prime time, 12 to 3. You and I are on As at the same time. How is that experience? That's new. That's Jeez. new. Um, so, I see sometimes you run the desk, sometimes you don't. Yeah, I'm not I'm not the first voice. I'm a co-host. Okay. Which uh I I don't mind. I, I had to learn to to fit into that role. Mm. Um and you know what? I I mean I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's 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 speaking to a different part of my personality. Yeah, yeah. The the objective of the show is different from what I had done before. Mm. So I'm 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 having fun. Yeah. You know, it's it's a lot lighter of a show. It, the, um, you don't, it, there's no part of your ego that feels I should be the lead. No, obviously when I came to Metro, uh I had personal aspirations and I still do, mm. but I also appreciate how this dynamic is working. And to be frank with you, I have a great team and yeah. we get along. Yeah. Um, so there are no ego sort of conflicts of any kind. That's true. You know, um, and, and I'm happy to play my position. Mm. And I feel like th the numbers, the response, the, it shows. Mm. Because if it were an awkward fit, it, it would, would show as well. The listeners would say, you, you know, I think there's a rock in my shoe. Yes. You know? And the fact that, uh, you know, as we say, we're grateful for renewals. That's always a telling 
That's measurement. That's true. That's true. You know that uh, we still feel you are okay. Yeah, you you still you're doing fine. Keep the, going. The, the the sponsors, the advertisers like you, the listeners like you. They like this dynamic, so let's keep it going. We're on at the same time. So as a we result, are. As a result, I, I can't listen to you. But show. also, we used to be on at the those same time graveyard in the slots. Yes, because I remember you passing me in the corridor one morning mm. and saying, oh, are we on at the same time? I'm going to try and steal your listeners. <laughs> and you ran off. I, you wouldn't remember something like that, but you know. It's, it's, it's something I do all the time. For right? sure. Amaza, I'm sure boy, and I yes. say that to him all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a... I'm obsessive when it comes to the radio numbers. For sure. Because yeah. it must grow. Absolutely. Otherwise, it's a, yeah. It's no, a preoccupation. I it. Like, I, For sure. it really, it troubles me. Yeah. Uh, no, but that, it's a mandate also that we have. Yeah. That <laughs> there must I say, be growth. Yes. When I say to people that we end our money on commission. Yeah. Technically, we do. We do. 100%. Because we respond to our growth. Exactly. They look at your, your growth and say, okay, you're still worth giving this gig. There you go. And it will give you 1% increase. There you Thank go. Thank you very That's much. It. Keep yeah. going. You know? 100%. So you're well within your rights. Wow. Well, how has your life changed as a result of a career that has worked out? And I say worked out yeah. because you touched hip-hop, half-half, you touched TV, blossomed, touched yeah. radio, it's blossoming at the same time, really, yes. with, with radio. How has your life changed in that, in that regard? And I mean sure. life at home, life at um, when it comes to now now there's an extra two rents. What what type of things are you interested in? Uh, I guess. <laughs> no, generally. Mm, for starters, you know, um, I think I've been able to give some stability to my family, my kids in That's particular. Awesome. Um, you know, I used to stay awake about school fees and really? things like that. Really? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, because, you know, we a gig to mouth, contract to contract industry. Um, but I think... You, you know, the combo of it all has mm. given me some semblance of, of stability and I've been able to give that to my kids. But yeah. but beyond beyond that, you know, I think I've also been able to um, enrich my life in many ways, their lives in many ways, yeah. uh, you know, by way of what I can expose them to, um, you know, the, the, the quality of life I can afford them. Um, you know, for my immediate family as well. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really kind of uh, empowered in that sense. And also... You, you you know that you you empowered when you find you have options that you can explore. You know there, there's ideas and things that you can turn down. You know mm. there's ideas you can explore. Now you are not being dragged by your career and going where it wishes to take you, mm. but now you are physically manufacturing a path that you want your career and your you life to go to. You creating the opportunities, yeah. you know. So, you know, uh, be, being able to study now is is of of particular importance to yeah. me. Um, I've just completed my my BBA for three now, years. Now MBA is coming. And now I've just gotten the go ahead acceptance because I had to be eligible. Of course, you don't just. You no, you I don't just. I went through the same. Problem. No, you know the story, they, you right? You don't just. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> that nod of approval, you yeah. know, uh, to say I can proceed with my MBA. Which school are you? I'm excited. Are you, are you, I'm with Reed Genesis Business okay, School. Okay, got it. Is it the um, one closest to SABC? Is it? It's in Santander. Okay, okay, yeah. not that. Okay. And I'm graduating this year, so hey. I'll be donning <sighs> a pura pura, pura, pura. <laughs> which uh, I, I can't, I can't Proud tell moment. you how. And and we've we've already established yeah. how symbolic this is for me. Yeah. You know, it it stands out. It's it's so significant, but Dave, that I get teary thinking about it. <laughs> so I'm gonna be a mess on the day. <laughs> I can tell you Jeez. now, yeah, man. You'll be crying because this means so much to me. It's a redemption of all the past yeah. blunders. Mm. It's amazing you call them blunders, but it's you okay. know, it's a redemption, man. You know, to to present a um, results certificate to my dad mm. and on there it bears six distinctions. Ah, it's, it's, it's a redemption yeah. to say I'm not who the world had concluded I was. Here's, here's, let me change that last phrase. You are not who you had concluded you were. Yeah, that's probably Because that, yeah, was, that was all you. You said it. It yeah, was all I'm, you. Yeah, you, I, 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 I think. Accept, I think. I accept. Even, even, even in Bubutatswana, 
they knew who you were. They knew it. That's why they said, no, we're not going to waste that time with a kid that's not doing the right thing. Mm. Your mom knew who you were. Everybody knew except you. It's only mm. now. That's why, that's why the six, Yo, six that's distinctions. Profound, man. Yeah, but the six distinctions, they've always been waiting for you mm. to come and fetch them. And you were busy <laughs> with other things. Yeah, I was nothing, fetching other things. You were yeah. fetching other things. There's nothing <laughs> wrong with that, you know? Cause, Damn, cause, that's cause, perspective, Dave. Yeah, Thank you, man. Because when I listen to your story, it's pretty obvious that you could always do it. You, yeah. you were just the one who was inter- yeah. interested in other things and there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Yeah. If some kid wants to dance, if yeah. they're great at it, let them let yeah. them dance, man. Yeah. Because for me, that's that's mm. really the story. That's really significant, Dave, man. And I'm I'm really grateful that you're saying that. Yeah. You know, there's really, really a lot of truth. And, it, and it's a shift in perspective. You're, 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 you're dead. Yeah, it's a shift Where in is perspective. Where is he now? And why settle there? Because he grew up there um, and he, after completing his medicine, wanted to uh, plow back to his community mm. so that he can impact not only the immediate community, but his family as well. Okay. So our entire family from that side, he's put them all through school. Wow. They either all work for him, are mm. connected to him in some way, shape or form. The community at large, he's done for. And it's always been one of the things I respect most about how he chose to to, to do it. To live his life. Yeah, it, it was always to go and give back to the community that gave to him. Mm. He answered yeah. to the calling. He answered to the calling, man. And you don't, really you don't speak about them together. Very no, they, they weren't together yeah. for much of my life. Okay. I believe they were together earlier, but uh, while I was a kid, maybe, they they weren't together. Yeah. Um, they got along well, um, were able to cooperate to help my life thrive mm. and blossom, um, but, I, but I've never known them as... As a... Here they are. No, you no. walk into the house and they're sitting there. No, no, no. But but as, but I, as I say, for some reason they found a way to navigate it, and I never felt the sense of absence. Either no, either no, side. No, no, no. Also because remember, I I actually in essence grew up with my grandmother. So because mommy was yeah, they were both pursuing a career. Yeah, in my mind, they were both out okay. making it happen while the. The foundation was yes, with my grandmother, yes, yeah. you know. So I, I never kind of felt any kind of absence or or missing. Mm. Um, and it's only maybe thinking about it as an adult that you're like, and like dimense. <laughs> yeah, man. They didn't. Uh, uh, you know. <laughs> but, but but they clearly played it really well. They did. That because you didn't feel I never I never saw any kind of no different from any other household. Yeah. You know, I I really I had it good. And your, your connection good. with 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 both of them was equally solid. I had equally solid. Um, so now because my my mom and grandma are late, uh, my, my dad and I are still very solid. He's yes. still my guy. And remember, my my dad um holds a, a special place in my heart in that he he came to my defense when I wanted to go the alternate route. The the, the music. The music and the creativity and all that. He was the first to say, you know what, let let this guy. Go do it. So he was important in that moment. He was important in that, you know. <laughs> um, even though he used to say to my elder brother and I, man, I'd sleep so much better if one of you were a doctor. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so I knew that his heart of hearts yeah. uh, would have liked it this way. But I think his his mind also understood that Maybe you gotta let him fly that way. He's different, and he'll find his he, way. He this wins way. talent shows. Yes, he doesn't win I mean? academic shows. Yeah, but let me like tell, but, but Dave, between me and you, mm. and I'm putting this not only on here but into the universe. Uh, my aim was to go as far as the BPA. Then, when I flew through it, mm. I then set my sights on an MBA. Upon the genesis of my MBA. I'm looking at that PhD <laughs> and I'm thinking, how significant would that be, man? Finally. How significant would that may, be? May your dad live long enough to, to see, it. see it through. And you know what? Yeah. Now, and I haven't said it out loud. Yes. Why not? But now I'm like, and like, and like you know what? PhD. Kilo yeah. trap. <laughs> no, and, and I think you should do it. I think you should do it. I, do you know what I mean? I have been exploring for a while. No, no, no. Yeah. The, the, journey is, the journey is solid. However, I've been reminded very 
often. Yeah. That it's not easy. No, no, no. And nothing but what worthwhile is. That's true. And I must just brace, brace are, for, let's go. for turbulence. I are able to do it again. No, I'm, the, the, my mind is made up. It's, yeah. It's the question is how long will it take me? <laughs> that's the mind is made yeah, up. The that's question it. is how long will it take yeah, me? And with sure. me, it'll be a DBA. A DBA. Yeah, there doctorate in, in business administration. There's, 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 a, there's something I'm, I'm curious about. Okay. It has to do with this type of, DBA, of, of for platform sure, for sure. and where it's going yeah. in relation to... Maybe I'm talking about a DBA too, You actually. never know. Because, yeah, because if it's an MBA, mm -hmm. surely it would be followed by a DBA. But you can't do a PhD because you, you'll, you'll be holding a master's degree. Oh, I see. So you can't do yeah, a Yeah, you can tell a I'm PhD. not at that level because... Yeah, you'll get that. Don't yeah, worry. I'll be exposed <laughs> to all of this and I'll be consulting. Don't you worry. Because you, you can if you... Different institutions treat it differently okay. once you've completed your yeah. master's. Yeah. Uh, you bring your master's with you mm. and you say, I want to do this. Okay. And they say, here are requirements, uh, 60%, some yeah. of them. Yeah. Uh, aggregate uh, a score of your all your marks for your masters, uh, particularly MBA in that regard. For sure. And others is sixty five. Okay. And they want a and others they prioritize the thesis, mm -mm -mm. the master's thesis. Yeah. Uh, whether it's you've done sixty five, some are seventy percent, and um, uh, you have to write a. Um, or the 2,500 words yeah, of yeah, the yeah. subject that you want to research. They have to evaluate that mm. and say it's a worthy uh, a submission. submission. Yeah, 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 and not yeah, only yeah. that, it's a worthy research. It's something yeah, that contributes yeah. to knowledge. Aye, 2,500 is not bad. Remember, I've written a book, man. You see, there you go. And each chapter had to be 4,000 words. So, so it's not so... I, yes. But different institutions, yeah, yeah, I get different it. institutions yeah. apply apply differently. Yeah. And But but with a similarity. There I'm with there, you. You know, so you. I've been investigating these schools. Mm. You would think you would think I'm writing pieces on, on that, the, yeah. on the application on process. The, that's it. Which is robust as a process, man. No, you I have no it. idea. I even I I, I, I gathered assistance to try to do this investigation because yeah. I realized that I don't have the time. Yes, the it's capacity so to yes. sit and it needs a dedicated, yeah. We, we've now settled with two possible institutions. Mm -hmm. It'll either be UJ or uh, University of Pretoria. We'll oh, see. I see. It'll, it'll, it, you'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the time comes. For sure. I hope for the best. Yeah. What do you still dream of when you look at your life? When you look at the next, I don't know, 40 years? Now, uh, you, I just, I, I, I live I, and I long to be around to see, to see my kids maximize their potential. Mm. You know, um, I'm at a beautiful phase now where there are young adults with their own minds, perspective, ideas, aspirations for life. Mm. And I, I really just, I really just wish to be, to be around, to be a part of it, to see it, yeah. to help facilitate it where I can, you know, to help nurture it and just kind of to watch it unfold, mm. you know. How um, old are they now? So my daughter is turning 18. Yes, the matric. In 2024, mm. yeah. And uh, my son is turning 14. Yes, Solid opinions. Yes, about, solid, solid opinions. Even about politics. Or 15 is turning, yeah. yeah. About about a, a lot of... And it surprises you, you know, because you still kind of think of them as as babies. That's the vision you have of their <laughs> mind. So whenever they say something profound, you're always taken aback to say, hey, man, this was the same person just now <laughs> whose nappy I was changing, you know. Um, and I've really been so so rewarded you know by yeah. by this experience but i must also mention it's also very stressful and strenuous and there's periods of uncertainty where you don't know what's going to happen with your own life much less people that do, are now depending, depending on, on you, you <laughs> and and all that you know so it's also like a very stressful thing does it give you a different appreciation for your parents yes absolutely uh, Absolutely, man. Um, yeah, you just have a, a, a an appreciation and a perspective. When they said no, <laughs> they don't have. I or mm -mm. you, you know, all of these things. Being in those shoes, mm. you now like. I get it. Finally, I, 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 I get it. But just as I want to believe, I afforded mine to kind of see. 
and get a glimpse of what the rest of it would look like. So I want to be around to see what the rest of this this potential yeah. is going to become. Because that's what it is. It's it's yeah. It's it's you lots can only of wait for it. Yeah, that's it. And 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 which is what your parents did. Yeah. And, and allow it. And allow it, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, a chaotic, disorganized <laughs> period where there's no Direction. clear outcome here. But, you know, you you wait long enough. You support long enough. You'll be saying, here's my son, Prova. You, you'll be saying, here's, there yeah, you go. You see what I mean? There you go, yeah. So, yeah, so I want to just kind of stick around mm. to go through that whole that whole journey wow man yeah i'm, I'm, I'm happy for you yeah your perspective of it because fatherhood is tricky it's tough and south africa has proven that fatherhood is is very tricky yeah because we uh, i remember i had buddy lohotla here who's statistician in south, yeah. south africa who said there's a lot of bad certificates with no fathers in yeah them. so being a dad and appreciating it and loving it and wanting to see more of it for sure is an incredible feeling. Yeah, surely, eh? yeah, yeah. But, hey, but Dave, listen, there's there's periods of hair pulling, <laughs> of grey hairs, of, not of shouting, fun. of rep- no, it's 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 not it's not the fantasy that we often guilty of making it appear to be. Mm. But those are the dips. True, you know. But the the general trajectory of it. And it's the positive. general arc of it points up. How do you still relate with your dad? You said it's still a solid Oh, set. man, no, that's my guy. Do you consult? Do you still, are you still in Tuan? That's uh, dad. <laughs> it's more, we update each other now. Ah. I think as opposed to a, a dependency, but he's still my sounding board. Okay. But what would happen now is, and I think as, as adult Kids, mm. what we do now is you arrive at a decision and then you cross check okay. if it's the right one. As <laughs> it, opposed to yeah, asking the whole process. You know, and I, yeah, but really, my, my dad has been there through the whole arc of it. Mm. You've you seen know. it all. Yeah, he's seen that. Pops ahuna next to Kuntlung. Jeez. He's been there for that. But he's also been there for the Pops. You know yeah, what I mean? So yeah. he's been there for that whole arc, man. Wow. And I don't know. that I, I, love, I love that full, mm. you know, journey. Ring the circle of life. What's That's what it is. There it's you the go. Circle of life. <laughs> you, you, know, you know, the sad part about your story is your mom. Mm. Surely losing her must have been a tough moment. Yeah, that was particularly tough, man. Um, How long ago was More that? so was my grandma. It was not long ago. So it was my my mom, maybe, uh, I would say about uh, four years now to date. <sighs> it's um, very recent, bro. And then my, my grandma soon after as well. Um, so, uh, look, as, as much as I continue to 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 celebrate their lives i'm also filled with a certain satisfaction that at the point of their passing um we had not only a great relationship but i think they had an inkling that mm. uh that i was going to be okay yeah you know mm. um as a matter of fact i remember the last time i actually saw my mom was when I was hosting my entire family at my home. Wow. And it was over a Christmas period. Um, and that joyous occasion is the last mm. oh, man. memory that my my mom and I forged together. Yeah. Uh, and I'm I'm glad. It, if it if it were the last, it was that. It was a great last. It was a great last, you know. Yeah. So I suppose that's why I don't necessarily feel a like I was robbed mm. of mm. something because I feel like we we concluded on fantastic terms. Yeah, you know, when she was proud, when we were happy, we were laughing. It, it was just a wholesome period, you know, and sadly, unbeknownst, that was to be our last Do you know? interaction. Jeez. But if I were to pick one, I'm glad it was that one. You say more so your grand as well. Yeah. So my, my grand soon after, um, 
She was then subsequently alone in Kimberley. Then my little sister and I brought her up. Uh, she was in a in a in an old age home, but my little sister moved in with her okay. to help cook and all that and the like. And then during that COVID period, uh, is is when we lost oh, her. No. But similar to my mom, in that um, she was happy mm. Mm. in 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 her final days, you know. Yeah. Um, and so I I I don't feel robbed of of their lives mm. you know and of my time with them wow just because of the positive manner in which our last time was spent was, yes. yeah. and, and, and even if, if even if not the last moment but yeah the last period the last period was, yes. was great you yeah. know yeah. yeah how many man. siblings do you have this one's always complicated and I and I um <laughs> I get nervous that you're gonna ask me. Let's see how best you answer this. Yeah, this there's time. there's stuff that I don't know if I if I know how to answer nicely. But mm. uh so I have a little sister, mm-hmm. Tumelo. Uh, yeah, Tumelo, ne? Mm. And then I have an elder brother, Mpo. Okay. I used to have a, a an even elder brother, but he he long passed on. Oh, yes. And then uh, Mpo and I have a sister, Lerato. Okay. From who's an actress. From your dad's side. Yeah, you see, that's where now... This, Keep going. It, that's where it gets murky it's now. It's a South African family. That's, yeah, but that's, <laughs> that's where it gets murky. And yeah. also, uh, th- you know, there's there's a lot of elements I don't have a full uh, a specific understanding of. Okay. And also, I, you know, because a lot of my siblings are either in the biz or something. Oh, yes, yes. I, I would rather they tell the story. Their story. Yeah, yes, you, yes, you understand yeah. what I mean? So, so um, you have a sister in the same, in, she's an actress. Yeah, Lerato Melasi, you know her. Yes. Yeah, she's an Emmy-nominated, make no mistake, not just an actress, <laughs> Emmy-nominated <laughs> actress, highly accomplished. She's studying herself. Oh. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, it's just a very accomplished man. She's an award-winning actress. Doing superb things. Amazing, eh? Yeah. Solid family. Yeah. The family gatherings, they include everybody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah. So, are you, are you uh, one of those yeah. in the family who tries to, when when it's time for your time to host, you bring them all together? How do your time to host? I think I'm the anchor of this thing. <laughs> You're the only no, host. No, <laughs> I think I'm the anchor of this thing, man. Um, So, you know, we, we really have a good relationship. Yeah. All, all, all of us, you know. Um, And I, I any opportunity to host. You I, take I, it. I, I would, man. So I, I kind of really enjoy it. We travel together. Okay. You know, we, yeah. you know, we're very involved in each other's lives. Mm, I'll let you know. Do you have a WhatsApp no, group? Uh, we have, no, well... <laughs> So our WhatsApp groups are project specific. Oh, and then and then a project is done, <laughs> but there's some people that are still active. Yeah, they were still no. So and we you wonder were, why no, are they no, still no. there? So we project specific groups, mm, and then yeah, then yeah. next project must happen. Then we then we you know, yeah. but we 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 all get Not along. Not family. WhatsApp group that's not, constantly no, going. No, no, not those. <laughs> you no, don't do no, that. no, 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 no. Your Afrikaans is pretty good. Yeah, naturally, I speak very good Afrikaans. Because of your Kimberley. Yeah, because from in Africa, bro. So much so that you even did a song. I did. I did a couple of songs in Afrikaans. That's crazy. What was that song again? Well, you would be referring to "Love of My Lever" was a yeah, popular yeah, yeah, one yeah, that yeah, I did with the uh, Java. Yes, yes, yes. But I also had "Case the Original" on one of the albums where "Hue" in full-on Afrikaans from beginning to end. From beginning to end. Now, you must remember though that Kimberly, even though we speak a lot of Afrikaans, we also mix. Yeah, man, I got got man. I forgot, man. Yeah, everything. So relate that I who this but I mean, but the way I run sweet. Yeah, okay. Since and the Larukana, yeah, 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 yeah. That can work out, but yes, like if I go far, like a young. There's a guy we went to school with. Yeah. <laughs> in, in, in Devon, yeah, he was ANC member. Yes, yeah, that guy used yeah. to say. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> I can't repeat those Yeah, yeah, please don't. That guy was hectic. Please don't, yeah. His, yeah, his yeah. language was so vulgar. Colorful, right? Yo, yeah, yo, yo. yeah, 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 yeah. No, he, hey, look, I remember the, the phrase, because this one moment I remember, which is probably how, when every time I, I do it, I try to do a Kimberly accent, I remember his face. Yes. So I'm trying to really do him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Ja, yeah, Mann, die Basis ist die Avaya, Mann. <lacht> ja, die Basis ist die Avaya. Die Avaya, danke. Ich ja, remember, die ja. haben saying that. Oder? Komm, ja, Mann, die Basis ist die Arsia, Mann. <lacht> That's it. Ja, yeah, man. So, even, because, look, I don't live in Kims anymore. Whenever I visit Kims. Who's home now? Who's no, I, I've got distant sort yeah. of relations. Okay. But too far removed for me to say... You You'll know, be there this weekend. I'll be there this weekend. So, look, I do find myself in Kimberley relatively frequently, either mm. by booking or invitation or yeah. or some kind of distant relative. Okay. But then I'd have to put up somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. see what you I mean? Like that's how, some hotel. Yeah, that's how uh, a little that, removed that, I am. That hole. <laughs> yeah, a hotel there. you are yes. <laughs> So, unfortunately, means um, you know, Kim's will always be my home. Mm -hmm. uh, but now say end of the year or something when folks are saying I'm going home. You don't have that anymore. No, nah, that's that I fortunately yeah. don't have anymore. And for yeah. a while it was. Yeah. Jeez, for man. a while you would still, you know, there's still someone where you go with somebody's baby. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel like I don't have that anymore. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm no longer somebody's baby. Where uh, you Yes, where outside. Even the guys in the streets you grew yeah. up with. You know what I mean? Where they're still commenting on how thin you are now and they want to just feed you and you, you know what I mean? You don't have to wake up and do a single thing and everything, you know? You life know, has changed. Life eh? has changed. Now you are that. Mm. Now there are people who are coming here calling and this. And you call them, hey, who do you know? Yo, but I got, yeah, you see what I mean? So it's interesting how life evolves, yeah. right? I kind of missed when, when they used to say that to us. Yes. <laughs> life you was know? better then. Ah, oh, man. Being an adult can That's be quite it. a complicated exercise. Indeed. But it's all a part of it, eh? My dad always says, man, it's 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 all part of the game, you know? Yeah. Each phase of our lives has is necessary to go through. That's what it is. You know, you can't remain there. You know, you have to move on to the next phase. And f to move on to the next phase, sometimes this has to be forfeited. It has to be done. It has to be moved on from, graduated from. Otherwise, you're holding on. You're holding on. To nonsense. Half Why the time. There you go. Because you're to bad decisions. You see? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. As we conclude, love of my yes. life, love of my yes. liver. Yes. Remind us of the words. Love of my liver. So at the, at the time of this, uh, I was in a sort of a, uh, a union, mm. and that's kind of where it was dedicated to. Yeah, so uh, remember and place that. Yeah, do you remember what, what what the lyrics were? Oh, man, no, I don't. Eh? <laughs> Which I don't. song? Also, still... because it was not my own song. Oh yes, it was Jabba's song. Yeah, it was Jabba's song, yes. and I remember he insisting because he obviously knew I was from Kimberley, mm. but always felt I didn't do justice to the fact that I'm from Kimberley and oh. that never surfaced in any of my creative works. Mm. So he always used to put pressure on me. As a matter of fact, if I, of the three occasions that I rapped in Afrikaans, two of them were on collaborations with Java. Because he kept on because saying... Because he was the one championing this thing. I can't remember the words better than you. Of uh, Love of My Liver? Yeah. No, I don't. Then we did uh, <laughs> Le Lokola Le Coco. Yeah, how did that go? That's a Tasman production. Uh, it does a Tasman production, yes. yeah. But I remember even there, I specifically remember him saying, I. Afrikaans. Afrikaans, or. <laughs> or nothing. Or you're not on my song. <laughs> and I, that. I had to come with Afrikaans. Yes. Yeah. And then so, I ended up doing my full, a full song in Afrikaans. Did you find it easy to write? No. Like, twice as hard. Because I never honed that skill. Yeah. I never, you know what I mean? So I found it difficult. I was all fair with the language and comfortable and all that. But speaking it, Jeez. creating in it, because you have to think in it. was And, and try to be cool. And try and be and cool and fluid and <laughs> is, is a muscle I had not trained. Oh. You know, so I did find it tough. But when it came together, it worked. You pulled it off. I pulled it off. Go check all those songs. Aye, aye, aye. But I still want lyrics of one of the songs, man. Mm. Anyone? Which one? Lyrics. Still, still in your mind? Uh, I'm, and this is me trying to bring the rap back. <laughs> oh, look, for the purposes of this platform, gladly. Uh, I actually remember... Most, if not all. Of course, all. yes. Anyone yeah. that comes to mind. I, I, should, I should recite. Yes. Uh, kind of... Damn it, I wish I could pick one. I referenced the uh, um, Writers Club okay. where I did that whole analogy about I write what I like and yeah, I. Yeah, so yeah. maybe I can do that a little yeah, bit okay, of that. Let's, let's so it that. went like this. 
I write what I like and I like what I write. I like to be right, but I don't really write to be liked. Difference. I get hype when I write like journalists, but I'm no journalist. So I don't write for the hype. And not to say the hype is not right, but writing will get you like. And having the right doesn't mean you can write. Something like that, man. Something to that effect. Something to that like that. It's still there. It's still, it's still, it's still there. Look, I still play the stuff. Because you have your own unique style. You may not have... Because there is a flow about it. Even now, when I hear it, it's like, man, yeah, but, we loved this. No, nah, but but it's not about <laughs> any of that now. What is it about now? now when you look at the hip-hop game now, now mostly it's about in Sonics. SA. Sonics. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Maybe my you do know what that know is. what Sonics is. <laughs> now it's about how does it sound. Oh, yeah. It's not the words. No, it's not the words, the content, the it's not the soul, the life behind it. The objective, the meaning. No, it's about how 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 pleasant does it sound? And there's nothing wrong with that. I it's get about, it. It's, 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 yeah, it's, it's about it's, how it's, pleasant. It's, what do we call it? Drifting. It's drifting. It's a it's a drifting it's of, a drift. of rap. Yeah, and, so and the crowd cheers. That's it. And I I I get that. Now it's the so, it's a, it's the Sonics man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But it, yeah, it, it, it and it lacks consciousness. Not that this is wrong, no, I guess. No, you see, I... I, I or then I, we put too much pressure no, on it. I, I worry about sounding like an old school purist stuck in an era. Okay. And because I don't want to suggest that, you know, we're claiming we were better or the ones we made were better. Mm -hmm. It was just different. It's what I said about yeah, radio. The, the appeal was different. was different. You know, we were speaking... At a different time, yeah. uh, where our objectives were different. Now the generation producing stuff now is trying to achieve different things, mm. trying to penetrate the globe as they are, uh, and Taking to do to that, the they, yeah, they have to do it this way. So no, no era was better. It's just different times. Different, yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess my point is when it when I said lacks consciousness and allow me to try to justify yeah, my yeah. position, is that music is a it's a tool. Yes. As much as it's meant to make us have a good time. Right. It's also a tool. And historically, messages used to be hidden in songs mm -hmm. for future generations. Yes. We want, you want, we couldn't read or write, but we could right. create music and we could speak in music. Mm. And we wanted the next generation to hold on to this message. Right. Whatever that message was, then we put it in a song. And when the kids are growing, when we want them to sleep, when they're playing, they learn these songs. Mm. And these songs carry a message and they take them to the next generation, whatever that message is. And when I say like consciousness, as harsh as this may sound, is that what are we taking to the next generation? I remember mm. Bo, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's an era but, of no, music. No, but, but things have to evolve, man. Just like, just like the public phone. <laughs> You're going back there. It, 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 it's evolved. Just like the public phone, mm. which we were calling our parents with, our families with, our yeah. loved ones with, and yeah. using phone cards and or coins and loading money and all mm -hmm. that. Just like that, that public phone. The world moves. Can't bash the cell phone because you're playing games on it. <laughs> I'm trying to say, yeah, it's become something else. Yeah, it's necessary for the time. I hear you. I hear you. You I, know what I mean. I guess. I guess my position so, remains. So, <laughs> you know, I, I just, I just am worried of standing on the soapbox and mm. saying, and taking the self righteous yeah, approach. Position. Yeah, that just because we were embedding messages and consciousness and yeah. whatever and you and it has evolved to this way doesn't make it inferior it just makes it different I, I saw a thing did you see when uh most deaf was commenting on a drake uh, no, on, a, on, no. on drake no what does one it interviewer asked him what do you think about drake and he in not so many words and maybe you have to check the clip for yourself just so i don't but he was almost saying it's um uh, shopping music mm, mm, mm. you know and almost trying to suggest that it lacks substance and it's popularist and all that and I remember thinking that's not fair man uh, you, you know he's in an era where this is what's happening yeah we don't this have to happening. talk about all of these things you know yeah. what I mean uh, it's like and this is not our story but you know Negro spirituals 
Yeah. When they were in the plantations and they, and were, they were singing they were and whatever. whatever. <laughs> yeah, but we're not in the plantations anymore. Mm. So the, the music doesn't have to have all that much weight. I, I, I hear you. And, and you know? No, I hear you. I fully understand. Mm. Maybe it's my wish. Yeah, I get that, you. That, that, that some of the music carried. Yeah. Because we deal with a youth that doesn't vote. Because they don't know why. But now you are welcome to to appreciate and love and respect your era, right? Mm. But it shouldn't be at the expense True. of thinking True. this True. era is inferior. So even I, if you look at what I consume, what we, what I yeah. listen to, yeah. I probably listen to more stuff from my era than I do the new stuff. The new stuff. But it doesn't mean I don't, don't see them. Yeah. I, I, you know what I, I mean? That's why I say I have to get off my high horse. For sure. And see them for who they are. And say, this is the story they're writing. That's it. Be- yeah, and that's their story. Because yeah. there was a time when Kwaito yeah. came about in yeah. my era. Yeah. When I was in university, 93, 94. Mm. It was the thing. Yeah. And it, we were called the lost generation. See? <laughs> See? <laughs> no. And now here we are. <laughs> Looking at this generation, wondering, right? What are they doing? You see, what is this? There you go. But but every generation, it's, it's even in a song. Yeah. Every generation blames the one before. That's it. To say, yeah, eh, eh, or the one after. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, to say, absolutely. What are you guys up to? That's that's the cycle of life, isn't it? Again, here we keep coming back. Radio gave us the same type of yeah. conversation to some extent. Yeah. You, absolutely. You know what? I I brought you here, and I remember we had a chat prior. Yeah. Because I absolutely love what you've done. Sure. Thank you, Dave. You know, with, and with, I'm, uh, listen, we've known each other for so long. Yes, yeah, we've yeah, known each yeah. other for when you were still deciding. We're talking about yeah. deciding which card to buy and yeah. you're not sure. So so we, we've known each other for so long. And I, I, we, I think we have mutual respect for each absolutely. other. We see each other almost every day, really. Absolutely. And That's why I, I agreed. You know, I, I generally don't readily accept invites to a hey, thing man. that I'm like, oh, man, I'm going to be in the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, because because I I, I know what the, what the intentions are. Yes. I consume a lot of the stuff. Thank I've you, seen man. many guests you come did through here. Yeah, you did. I see how you know you you are vaulting and capturing history. Yes, that's the goal. The significance and so the opportunity to be a part of it. Yes. Yeah, is is one obviously I would gladly accept. So that's why I I, I just want to say to you, thank you, thank you, thank you for saying yes, man. Thank you for day. I've seen a lot of the stuff you've done, the interviews, like, my mm, mind will be different. <laughs> yeah, and it was, man. Yes. This this was so much richer. Yes. Just when I thought, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. You Fidisi told the know. story. Ah, ah no. then who can I come? <laughs> then I'm like, ah, I'm sure Shapu know. Then who can I come? You know. So I'm it's, actually, it's really I'm been... actually not even done, but it'll take two minutes. The decision to do the book. Yes. What led to that? What was, yeah. Because some would say, Live another 10 years. Live another 20 years. Yes. You know, I said that. Okay. I said that. So I I uh, I was in a conversation with, the, with my publisher. Mm, mm. And uh, they were pitching an idea to me about something else. Okay. Book, obviously. Yeah. yeah. While I was now in this room having this convo, I said, you know, um, I always thought I would, uh, I'd like to write a book one day. Mm. Then they took it. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> and if you do, what what would that what would that be about? Yeah. Then I'm like, ah, I don't know. I just kind of speak about my accumulated experiences up to this point, what I've done in this space, in that space, my personal traumas, and you know this and that and the other. And then she was like, go on, <laughs> you know. Then I would speak about this and that and the other. And then that suddenly became the hotter idea than the initial one. Wow. <laughs> and so I was. And this then, you were willing to do? No, then I I because. In in my pitching why, why I would write a book, mm. I then said it would also be like a catharsis for me and a little bit of a yeah. release mm-hmm. and so on. And also because many uh, aspects touched in the book, yeah. I never got to express my perspective mm. of them. Gotcha. And so it'll maybe offer me an opportunity to tell my piece. Yeah. Um, to put to rest a lot of things. There it is. And and a healing mechanism for myself and perhaps all involved, I guess. That's it. And 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 also remember how we were, I mentioned with DJ Mbuso and, uh, and DJ Fresh and everybody. Yeah. 
it was also like an homage and an ode to those who I feel like had contributed to my life, certainly up till that point. Yeah. Uh, you know, to say, to say thank you. This is how it is. To this say is... I acknowledge how your contribution has made my life what it is. Do you know something interesting? Around this time of the chat, I always say, who are the people you want to thank? You've already done I, that I have done in so. the stories that you've told. I have done yes. so, I think, yeah. And and please, I, I now officially uh, add you to that list, but yes. Dave, you know what I mean? You, as one of the dudes, <laughs> I not only respect as, as a Khrutman, as an elder, but also... As we speak, I realize how present you've been. I've been around. Ne? I realize <laughs> or, and like a nah, man. I've been around. At my first whatever, Prati was there. Yes. At the choice of a Prati was there. When I was thinking about a car and this mm. and that, Prati was no. there. You know what I mean? I've been around. No, you certainly have, brother. <laughs> and if I haven't given you flowers before, please accept them now. Now you have. Don't you worry, man. That's Did I it. forgot to ask you about this? So. Do you enjoy the boards, particularly the Samro? I, I do. I do. I do. They, do they? What? 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 What matters about them for yeah. you? Yeah. So I I love about serving on boards uh, that you can impact the industry mm -hmm. that served you for yeah. uh, you know at at corporate level at um, decision making level mm. you know at executive level I I really love that so yeah. you you can affect measurable change mm. you know um what so, what do you find is is, is is the biggest challenge that SA musicians are facing and and uh, the board you serve in now can actually play a role in. yeah so because i was a musician uh -huh. i appreciate that life cycle that this is a passion of ours this is our livelihood but it doesn't always translate to us being able to make a living and a sustainable one for that matter mm. and we are dying paupers and so on so where is uh, where are the gaps? Mm. Where where are the gaps? How come if you get him playlisted, if you're going to gigs, to groove, to functions, you're hearing your song? Where's the money? Where's the mismatch? Where's the disconnect? Mm. So I'm really enjoying unpacking all those things. Then you you find out there's actually a disconnect between the artist and the collection body, which is Samro in this mm -hmm. case. For instance, where if we've got your money, but we can't find you. Something Ooh. as simple as that. Or yeah. we've got your money, your details aren't up to date. Or uh, the place is exploiting your content, your creative works, mm -hmm. but their license is not up to date. Ooh. Or they're not paying. Then I, as the, the body, will then have to fix this relationship and go and collect on your behalf mm. and then try and get it to you. So Find you. All the, yeah, all these interesting dynamics. Then to say, the world is moving this way. It's more digital. Now somebody is dancing to my song on a video. Where's the money? Where, where's the money? Mm. Now you're like, all right, we have to then come with a policy uh, that speaks to the digital exploitation of my material. Ish. What would that be if it's a global platform? Well, how's the rest of the world doing it? So I, I, <laughs> I really am, in, am enjoying it and um, just seeing it from the different side of it. Mm. You know what I mean? Because we, we always made the enemy out of the institutions. Of course. To say, it's easy to point a finger. Ah, what uh, this yeah. and this and this. But from this side, you then see that, no, no, no. We're trying desperately to get it to you. We're trying desperately to collect it for you. Mm -hmm. We're trying, you know, to close the, the gap and the loop, but also to come with developments to say, how do we get better you know, tracking, how do we digitize it? How do we make it more automatic, more true, seamless, more true. automated? Because in the administrative processes, there's also a lot of flaws. Yes. Where you, you played a lost. jingle at the beginning of your podcast, ne? but now when you submit to Samro, mm. you misspelt, oh. you wrote a different thing. So the system doesn't recognize it's what I just wrote. picking it up. Now it ends up unidentified. So how do I remove the middle guy <laughs> who's making mistakes mm. and say automate and this and that. So finding all these solutions, I'm finding quite exciting. But there's, there's progress. No, there's progress. The wheel will always turn slow because of scale. 
Yes. If we were dealing with one guy and fixing one guy's problem, <laughs> that would be one yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, but every second guy and their mom is a, is a creative nowadays. You know what I mean? And so they should be. And also, the something that has changed as well is how the music is sold. Yes. When you were selling your CDs, you could see the physical money. Yeah. I, and I could count 14 CDs equals this than that. This is my percentage. Yeah. It's in my pocket. There you go. Now... When you used it as a ringtone, you used it in the background or whatever, you were dancing to it on this, you were doing that. Now the it's on, I'm, I'm downloading is, it. I'm not downloading it. You see, now I shared it to you on the cell phone. I sent it to this one. Now the exploitation avenues are so much greater. Oof. That means a lot more work has to go in extracting it and making sure that you get your money. Yes, but I love being a part of that process. And do you find that there is the very consciousness that you speak of now? Yeah. Of trying to help this thing. Yes. Of trying to solve this I've problem. been a muso. Yes. I've gotten royalties of 0 0.30 cents, I've told you. Yes. And I refuse to still be alive, uh, capable, willing, and see that happen to another creative. And whose songs are played everywhere? Whose songs I'm hearing every week on Groove. I'm watching TV ads. I'm seeing these songs. I'm anywhere where I'm consuming anything. I go to hospitals. You go really? to hospitals, something is playing. You go to cinema, something is playing. It, you, it, you, you go to a pub. You go, you to, go a pub. To, to, to a shop, to Nando's, something is playing. Does that institution have a license? Does that, pl are, are they, they paying, paying their license? Yes. What's, uh, can, is there some kind of monitoring to say they played Brad Dave's song four times and mine twice? Is there a fair allocation? Sure. These are all interesting problems that I'm grateful to be a part of the solution in yeah. finding. I've learned, uh, when I used to own a shop in Mamelodi, yeah. I, I used to pay. Yeah. And I remember thinking, I didn't know this before I yes. owned the shop. There you go. Surely there's a lot of shops who don't pay. That's it. That's why there's a lot of work to be done. Yes. There's a lot of work to be done. And, and, and it's maybe a positive that you're articulating that because often it's the, the collection body that's looked at as the transgressor. Mm -hmm. When truth is, we are the middleman between the between guy who's playing. the industry yeah. and you. Sure. You know, but but now we have to do this together. You know, you can't turn on the institution. Mm. And by that, I mean something as simple as accessibility. I must be able to first find you. True. Because even if I successfully collect, and you must I must also, still be able to get you it must to you. also be aware of, of, of the collector. Yeah, there you as go. As in, it can be a by the way. It can be a by the way, man. So, Every year there's a development on the platforms and simplifying it and it's online now. Now it's self-help. Now it's automated. Now it's... You, you know, need to be playing. There's yeah. a constant attempt at, oh. at simplifying the ecosystem. But you have to agree that there's, a, there's still a lot of unfairness. Particularly whether that unfairness, whoever that's created unfairness, there's still those artists that are just not getting what they deserve. Yes, but do you agree that the, the, the system itself is, is like, we, we're trying to fix the ecosystem. Mm. Collectively. You know, collectively. Yeah. So if the environment has an issue, it's not the individual mechanisms mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that are not functioning. It's maybe their inability to function together seamlessly. Yeah. We have you know to find I mean? a dance. Yes. So in other <laughs> words, the guy playing your stuff, he's doing so well. Mm -hmm. The collection body is doing so well. You are creating very well. But together, are we all working well? No. And that's maybe where the, the, you made the, the work song. is to be done. You well. make the song. Well. Everybody's enjoying it. Fantastic. I have a pub. Uh, on weekends, it's food. You're blazing I the song. I play the song but every I, day. But you don't have a license with me. I don't have a license with you. So how am I even collecting to begin with? And then who does this guy fight with? You, this one. the collector. Not to focus on the semantics, but, it's, but the broader yeah. the broader statement is uh, th 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 there's an attempt, there's progress, mm. it's slow, but the wheel is turning yeah. and you've got plenty of good guys in there with good intentions. Okay, uh, that's, that's, that's good uh, enough. You know, yeah. exactly. So take solace in that at least. There are people who are fighting to get this go. thing working. Yes, because we have suffered at it not working. Yes. You've been there. I've been there. So busy with the Tulusu. We are <laughs> under the sky and Raikenika. Shasa. Raikenika. If, and you own, if you own a pub, 
Do you have to have a license to play the music Bingo. you play? Anything, even a platform. Yes, if you're hosting. Even a no, if, absolutely. Uh, That's why I always said, <laughs> if we could, we would play your music. There you go. Because we are aware of it. For sure. If you're hosting, you have a gig. Yeah. Like a, a, a what a um, festival. Yeah. Jeez, I'm old. Uh, and you have an artist playing on stage. You have to submit. Submit and collect. Submit. If you but, have a community radio station. Yeah. You have to submit. But artists register. Update, if you have a song. Update details. You have to register your song. Update banking details. Update contact details. You know, the people are looking for you to give you your money. Your money. So there's money that's, update, that doesn't have people. Man, there's a whole undock Jesus. tank. Okay. They were trying to empty out. but We, we could rescue the economy you, of the country. Certainly. Certainly. Wow. You know, so just the administrative challenges as well. Amazing. Wow, man. I'm glad you're there. There you go. Because <laughs> you clear, you know 0 0.37 cents. For sure. I, know? Yeah, mine, I can't be the standard. <laughs> I can't be. Not in my lifetime, wow. we say, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so yeah. much, Vidae. Wow, man, I've enjoyed this. Thank you I so have too, much. Thank you very much. It's been a now, now we'll save it here. Yes, sir. The story. Yes, sir. To those that are lazy to read the book. Yeah, you and go. the book has other stuff. Mm, I know the it things goes you, different directions. I know yeah. the things you wanted me to talk about. I know. You're thinking how you didn't go there. We're mm. not going there. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Tiak. Thank you so much for, for David. Singer, King King David Studio Podcast.